Hey, Shalom. 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 All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Kapodash. And double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutation is to you, sister, brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Get that scripture, man's goings is of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem. All right, because at the end of the day, we never know. Don't say what you won't do. You know, and I've heard brothers back in the day say that if the Mosai kicked me out the camp, right, if the, if the group head kicked me out of the camp, I will continue to do this work. And this is you don't know. You never know, and that's the point. So don't say what you won't do. Remember, this gift is given to us by the greatest entities in the world. From Yahweh, through Yahweh Shah, a minister of the angels. The true or the higher head, man. That's a God here for your ass. All right? Get there, bro. Get the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse hey, look, 24. This is what I'm y'all. Y'all can jump in. That's it. Let's go. Get the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Meaning with your destiny, your faith, okay? Your destiny, your faith is your going. It's deeper than you going to this Texaco getting gas or going to school, right? Or basically, um, you know, you're going to your mother's house on the weekend. Ultimately, that's going into your faith, your destiny. And that is of Yahweh Hashem al Ultimately, you coming into this truth or being cast out of this truth, all right? Period, period. Go ahead. How can a man then understand his own way? Yeah, get John 10 and 28. Because a man's way is not the way we have by Shimei outside. The Lord directs our steps, man. The Lord chooses what we're going to do. He, he steals, you know what I'm saying, our agenda the next day when we sleep. So we have no 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 say-so on what tomorrow brings or what today even uh, unfolds, man. Because man's going as other Lord. So every step we take, every move we make, it's already ordained by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why you can't be proud, man. That's why we said we are of the hopeful elect. Because when it all boils down, man, the will of the Lord is going to be done, and your lot is going to be where the Lord placed you, man. So when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, like the vision the brother video went into, we don't know. We pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We continue to be in his good grace and mercy, and then we are of that number. But do we know for sure? No. That's why we fight and keep pushing, man. That the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is obtained and what we're doing is pleasing in His sight, man. So we could receive that mercy, that salvation, the deliverance, man, to be a part of that number. Because His will going to be done either way. Right. It's just that we hope we on the good side of right. His will. That's it. You know? That's it. So you can't say what you will and you won't do, what will and won't happen, because you don't fucking know. Yep. Started with myself first, man. Yep. The most I can zap that spirit from us as soon as we leave camp. Yep. Yep. And we can be niggas and never think about the truth anymore. And we right. pray that he don't. And we pray, and that's the point. But no, I'm just trying to force it. I know it. But, but, know. but yeah. on a higher level, like you said, we pray that we don't. Yep. Because yep. we don't know. We don't know who we are coming back, man. And like Apostle Gabor always states, you're only good. Feel your last video. Why? Because you're within the spirit doing the work. You know? Yeah, you, you got cats. They, you know, they want to be top guys. You know, this is why you know I did this one video called uh, "Main Character Syndrome." We don't want that. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And you got men. They, they pretty much want to be in the lot or, or the stead of the apostles. But like the apostle Bar had went into man, but you would land back for something the beloved uh Yodiash woman made. You know. That, that top spot, it comes with some high level demons, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, really, you just gotta have spirit. Can you endure the hell the Lord gonna bring your way? Because, you know, you want that position, then the Lord give it to you. You, you realize you really didn't want it. Right. You know? like and, and for the men that the Lord has that for, they really didn't even want them positions, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it was set up for them. Because, like the brothers going into it, I, I love that the spirit on to talk about this. But that's one of my favorite topics. Ain't no free will, man. Ain't no fucking you know? free will, yo. You know what I'm saying? Our lives were written before we even got down here, man. That's it. We had no idea, like, that's it. Uh, well, what's the time? The time is 6.06 uh, 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 p.m. Central Day Time. You know? You go back uh, so many years ago, 15 years ago, uh, 20 years ago, none of us knew we would be up here with each other doing this, man. You know, showing you 
this, this, this it has nothing to do with us. Like, hey, you know, our life, your life, his life, your life is within the algorithm of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. Right. Right. Yeah. I repeat that. Our life is within within the algorithm of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Period. Because if I can say, it's men who have come into this truth, did the work for many years, man, who have gone back into the world. You re you don't think they were saying that or feeling like they was going to be doing that to uh, Yahweh Shah return? In their own minds, they assumed they were, man. But the Lord had other plans. He may have used them men to bring someone else in, right. you know? And, and, and the uh, elder had brought out how, you know what I'm saying, men want the top spot and how some of the men of the old days of the ancient didn't want it. First person to come to my mind was Jonah, man. Jonah was trying to shake that, man. Yeah. You got it. But I'm saying this, oh. I'm saying this, you know, I'm glad it's spirit on the tongue like this. The, the beloved brother, Elder Barack Obama, he was saying it too, and we should push that spirit more. When we say something, you know, uh, uh, you know, via, you know, video, we say something in a lesson, it applies to us first and foremost because we're teaching, you know? Hey, but, you know, a hey, hey, fear, fear, yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man? Because men that left the flock, men that left this truth, you know, as you read in First uh, John, it says they went out from us because they was never a part of us. But see, these same men are going to be agents, man. In yeah. a time of trouble, don't you know they're going to be turning brothers in? Like, bro, we in a fearful time. And see, that's the severity what we involved in, man. You know, like the Apostle Barbara was speaking about when it comes to the uh, the vibration of Yahweh Shah's Passover, man. You know, it, it's, it's going to be men among us. that They're going to be looking for us. To hand us over to eat, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, taking a bribe, you know, and you got men doing it now, so we know it's definitely gonna happen in that time. You know, you got different videos coming out, you know, a recent video by way of uh, you know vocab, and see, hey, hey, brothers should be watching videos like that, man. You know, because hey, the, the spirit is on Pastor Hard, the beloved El Pastor Hard, to respond to it, but you you, you gotta realize what they call one West history, that's a part of our history. Although we wasn't back there at, in the old school, we, we still a part of that legacy, man. So, you know, men that, you know, left this thing, they teach the wayward doctrines. These men that labored among us, hey, they, they're going to be an uh, agent in that time, man, in the spirit. Let's say they, you know, let's say they didn't take a bag from eat. But just the, the fact that they're not among us anymore, they view this as something evil. And, and they have a, a, a great hatred for brothers, man. You know? But like, like the elders getting into, you know, um, and and I'm using it respect because you know the brother he labored, you know the brother that called me, you know elder, you know the brother he labored almost as long as I have, so that's why I'm you know calling that. But technically we would be what you call up and, up and coming elders, you know. We're babes, man. We're, we're, we're babes. We're, 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 really, really, that the title elder belongs to the elder apostle, elder that's business, it. man. That's it. You know, that's so you know, really that should be attributed to them. But like brothers getting into, we can't say what we ain't, ain't gonna do. That's why the, the, the best way to, uh, to deal is to take the low road, man. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? And Lord willing, hey, if you weren't fused, we never did that video, yeah. you know? But um, Lord will we stay fused in this body. That's it. We stay a part of the body of our shy. Hey, I, I can be this brother's doorman in the kingdom, you know? I'm just making a point, because you read that Psalm 84, I believe it is. Guess what? It, hey, and you part of your leg, you you hold the door, brothers. Cause we don't, you know, yeah, serve each other, you know. Yeah. Guess what? I done made it. Yeah. We we on the scene. Yeah. You could be you could be the last guy in the room, man. You could be way in the back, but but you 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 in the back of that room. That's it. That's it. You know. Right. Yeah, you got to go, brother. Back in uh, Proverbs chapter twenty, verse twenty-four, man's goings are of the Lord. Ultimately, your destiny, your fate. Okay, your destiny, your fate. And, and the end result for us, we pray that we are saved, man. Point blank period. Lord, go ahead. How can a man then understand his own way? How can you understand your way when you can't make yourself wake up? Right. When you can't stop yourself from not going to the bathroom? Right. When you cannot prevent yourself from going to sleep or not sleeping? So how do you understand ultimately your destiny when you can't even control the smallest things such as on that level? Can't preserve yourself from parents. That's it. You can stop your parents from dying. You can stop your homeboy from being gunned down. You know what I'm saying? Because that was already written. That was ordained, man. Yeah. You know, and if if if, you, if if people can't understand that a higher power chooses how you go, move, live, or die, 
then you need to uh, examine yourself, man. And I'm going to say this, and ultimately, it goes into receiving the Quranment. If you receive the Quranment, ultimately, it was it was within the Most High's algorithm for you to do so. If you fall out of the truth, out of the truth, it was within the algorithm of Yahweh Shalom for you to do so. If you remain in the truth, if you pass this test, this major test coming up, uh, right? Amazing. If you pass this test, it's within the protocol or the algorithm of Yahweh Shalom Shalom, right? Which he is the said, Lord, the Lord passing the test in you. Yeah, get you know, see, what, what we're doing is, 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 is far bigger than us. It, it really, to be honest, has nothing to do with us. You know, it's just that, you know, like Brother said, it's foreordained that the will of the Heavenly Father be so. You know, but um, it's a lot, bro. I'm just adding, adding here and there. Please, please forgive me. You know, like I said, you know, I, I love this topic. But um, dealing with they're, they're not being free will, there's been many countless accounts of uh, you know someone's elderly parents dying, or, or or you know someone's child dying, passing over to the spirit world, and you got people right over them, they loved ones shaking them, wake up, wake up. You know how fearful that is, man. Yeah. You know, so so you, you can't stop people, you know, that's near and dear to you, from from passing away. Right. Let alone, like brother said, keep your own self alive. Right. So, you know, everything the Lord is doing, you know. It, that's the point. It's the Lord doing it. We're just a part of his movie, man, because because it is a movie. Uh, you know? Uh, you got it, brother. John 10 and 27. John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice. The elect hear the voice, the spiritual instructions of y'all about Shem The elect are classified as sheep because they follow the, the sheep leader, right? Which is Yahweh Shah wherever he goes, man. The shepherd, okay? The shepherd. Yahweh Shah is the shepherd. And guess what? He has shepherds on earth fulfilling his will in the role of spiritual men, such as the apostles of the great millstone trickling down. Right? Go ahead, bro. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, Right. and they follow me. Right, so I know them, meaning what? We are predestined, Lord will. Okay, we are predestined to follow Yahweh Shem al -Shai. And if you are predestined to be the elect by default, okay, you will never take that karate. And I'm going to tell you something else about that karagma. If you take that karagma, and if basically you're able to take it out when your house shot has pierced these clouds, guess what? You still won't be saved because your fucking integrity was tested. You still failed. You took it. Although you have the capability or the certain technology to remove it, guess what? You still failed, and therefore you will not be saved. Like Jacob do. He got an F on his report card or a test, and then they get to draw a line around like he got an eight. It ain't gonna work, man. You really already done failed the test, man. You might try to fool somebody, but you ain't gonna fool the Heavenly Father, bitch. So damn. So long, man. Hey, my elder look like a little crib over there. Yeah, yeah. You can't say that, brother. It's some coffee, you know. I'm sorry. It's a lot, bro. He's in his work uniform, man. That's a joke. But yeah, we ain't banging over there. Yeah, man. I got a quick one. Okay, hey, let me, let me finish oh, okay, I got you. Go ahead, bro. Did you make, you want to make a point? No, I was just saying, you know, like the brother was saying, hey, it's like, hey, when you take, you can't take it out once you receive yeah. it because it's like, you got an L fire around your spirit. You know, yeah. you yeah. report yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the teacher already got it in her uh, law book. That's just on your test, so you don't put an angel. angel. The angel. And it's like you already been law to receive it. Because, yeah, it. hey, That's my it. thoughts are not your thoughts. That's it. You know, and, and, and man's, like you said, man's going to the Lord. So the Lord already knows who's going to take care of he already, Lord, I already know we got predestined for salvation. He already know we coming to get when he coming to get. That's it. That's it. And yeah. Brother, I now from Memphis, he made a good point too. He said, the scripture goes now, the Lord going to come in and pick the Yes, that's a great point. And I'm gonna tell you something. And just like Apostle Paul stated, when that shit is mandated, the next scripture is behold, I come quickly. So damn. Spirit. So you hey, hey, how about Shem Al Shah work with us, man? Call me how about Shem Al Shah. Hey, I, I can't I got chills now, bro. Go ahead, bro. Verse 10, I mean it's like verse 28. And I give unto you, it's like, and I give unto them eternal life. Right. And they should never perish. Right. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And that's what I want to harp on. When you go into the term meaning pluck, it means to seize or carry off. So, can't, so the spiritual being Satan can't do nothing if we are the elect. 
Now, best believe he goes to the spiritual realm and he does biddings. He asked the most high, look, I bet you that Elder Zaha would go off on this point. Let me test him. Sure, Satan, you can uh, test him, but guess what? Don't kill him. As well as Elder Gaza. He, as he, well he, as Pre Shema. He's book of he's, he's book of Jobinus. That's no. right. That's that's all he's doing. But guess what? At the end of the day, can't no man pluck him out of my hand. Starting with what the spiritual being Satan. He's our greatest adversary. And it's gonna be Satan through the will of the Most High to give these niggas that strong delusion, and a delusion is a fixed ideal about something that's not true to receive that karate. And it may start with you having doubts. Your girl comes home and get it, and you go home, and you leave and go to that station the next day because you just love with all your heart. Go ahead, bro. Verse uh, 29, my father which gave them me. My father which gave them me, meaning what? The elect start with 144,000 have been cherry picked by Yahweh, given to Yahweh Shah. Right, go ahead. It's greater than all. It's greater than all, go ahead. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Now, uh, check out hand in the Greek, bro. Check out hand in the Greek. Hand in the Greek, cheer. It says, um, first definition, it says, by the help of help or agency of anyone, mm -hmm. by means of anyone. Go to D, go to, go to D. D, it says, in determining and controlling the destinies of men. In controlling the destinies of men. So our salvation goes into the will of the Most High. Our destruction goes into the will of the Most High. So if a brother falls weak, you know, if a brother remains strong, all of this is within the algorithm of Yahweh Shem Now jump to Revelation 13 and 16. Uh, get your quick with that, bro. Uh, this is the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 16. For by him were all things created. They are in heaven and they are in earth, visible and invisible. Hold on, hold on. So since you said that, that is why, go to Isaiah 9 and 6. Understand something, Yahweh has the title as, as the everlasting father, right? The everlasting father. Get that, bro. Isaiah 9 and 6. For unto us a child is born. Yahweh The us is the elect. <laughs> like it. Yahweh is that child, right? Us is going into what the elect of Israel, but us means the entire nation, right? Go ahead. Unto us a son is given. Right. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. Meaning what? The kingdom of heaven will be ruled by Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. And his name shall be called Wonderful. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Go ahead. Counselor. Counselor. The mighty power. The mighty power. The everlasting father. The everlasting father. So the reason why Yahweh Shah is classified as the everlasting father is because Yahweh didn't create us. Yahweh Shah created us from the blueprint of Yahweh. That's the reason why he's identified as the everlasting father. I'll bring that point out. Uh, back in Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. Hey, and that's the reason why Yahweh has the title as the only begotten son, because he's the only spirit that the Most High created, as well as resurrected. Go ahead, bro. I'm about to add that the, word, the word father goes into uh, producer. No? Originator. Originator. Mm. So it was Yahweh Shah. You know, he was an original spirit that was created from the beginning. That he right. produced everything else, man. That's right. And also, when you go into father, it goes into a rank. You know? So when he calls him a father, because even, I don't know if you remember on the, uh, the, the, the series two, mm -hmm. with uh, King Henry the Eighth, mm -hmm. where well, he called him the father of the realm. Mm -hmm. You know? Go into his rank. Because when you're a king, you have to care for everybody in your realm just as you would care mm -hmm. about your own household like a father. You know? Because you gotta protect because like, as a king, you gotta protect and provide for the whole realm. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the role of a father. That's right. If you got five children, as a father, you gotta provide and protect all five of them. And you have to discipline them. That's right. You know, that's so right. when you go into that word father. They go into originator and producer, but also your rank and your what you call benevolence. You know, when you go into that word. It also goes into ruler and chief. Yeah, ruler, ruler or chief. chief. Ruler or chief. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Uh, so they call it like the rulership is the top, the top of the city. 
That's why he how was shy he's known as the beginning. That's really he's he's our beginning. That's they right. say in a revelation, you know, he's the beginning of the creation of the heavenly father. Yeah. Alpha you know, Omega. Alpha Omega. Right. You got it, bro. Uh, back in Colossians chapter one, I'm gonna start at verse 14, just to you know, kind of like what brother was saying. Verse 14, in whom we have redemption through his blood, right, even the, the elect, 144,000. So from the, the protocol of the Most High, Yahushua was created, and then Yahushua created who? 144,000. Uh -huh. And also, Yahushua also created Satan. And uh, the principalities that fall underneath Satan, man. This is how deep this knowledge is, bro. Uh -huh. Go ahead, bro. Even the forgiveness of sins. Right. Who is the image of the invisible power? Yahweh is the image of our Father. Right? Period. From a spiritual sense and from a physical sense. Go ahead. The firstborn of every creature. And that's literal. Because he was the first spirit created, the only begotten Son. Go ahead. For by him were all things created. Right. Everything we see and don't see. Go ahead. That are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible and invisible. Hence the everlasting Father, continue. Whether they be thrones or dominions. Right, so the, the Babylonian Empire came from Yahweh The Median Persian Empire came from Yahweh America came uh, from Yahweh Pagan Rome came from Yahweh right? The kingdom of heaven was created or came from Yahweh Go ahead, bro. Or principalities, Go ahead. or powers, Go ahead. all things was created by him and for him. Right. So at the end of the day, the 144,000 men, his sheep, okay, was created by him and for him. But from what? The protocol of the Mosa. Good. All right. And if I can say real quick, because as we were going into earlier, the, the either the Lord created you to win or he created you to lose. He created you to be delivered or he created for you to be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? There's all uh, characters in the Lord in the Lord's movie, man. And some are gonna, you know what I'm saying, are gonna make it through the whole movie. You know, movies, a lot of scenes, people don't make it. They be in the beginning, but they don't make it to the end. Yeah, but you have uh, in movies the plot twist. Good, so, good. You know, it's gonna be a lot of plot twists. Yeah, true. You know? Well, yeah. see, that's why the, the, the spirit, you know, got us closed off, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why every day we separate from the world because we can go through a time, all right, of cutting people off, man. Because if you get that sea hill, that's the ultimate betrayal. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. Jake have a saying in the world, what? You're dead to me. Mm -hmm. You know? So if somebody get that sea hill, it's over. That's it. It ain't nothing else to talk about. Right. You know what? I'm glad you said you know? that. I'm good. Hey, jump to Revelation 13. Get with you through the point. Yeah, yeah. Was it a Godfather part two? Michael, he was like, you're dead to me, Fredo? Yeah. You know? That's it. Hey, y'all, when we gonna watch that movie? Yeah. 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 Gotta get back in that spirit, man. It's like they're saying, you know, if, 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 if you and uh, Jake are brothers and, and he take the garage, where do we go from here? We, we, don't, we, we, we are completely separated now. Our, our minds, our spirits are not going to coexist together, man. Yeah. You're going to have to go one way, I'm going to have to go the other, man, because I believe you have by seeing me outside. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just using, I'm just making the point, you know what I'm saying? But brothers, we believe you have by seeing me outside. But... If you gonna bow the knee and take the karate, but you have lost faith. You don't believe. You truly were not a servant, man, because you're looking for an outlet. Instead of using the outlet that, you know what I'm saying, you truly should fear and believe in, y'all about to me all the time, you choose to use the outlet of Satan, man, Esau, Edom, and, and their uh, karate, man. Okay. And that's basically said, can two walk together, so they can agree. That's right. That's right. That's basically what it is. You can't walk together. You taking it, yeah. we ain't taking aid. We really got yeah, shit to talk about. Noah will, we don't think. Noah will. Noah will. And that's the whole yeah, topic. Yeah, that's it. That's right the now. entire topic. Yep. You know, and, and best believe, just like that brother, that dream was not only a dream, it was a fucking vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was real, bro. And look, I'm going to tell you something. We had a bro, as a corn, there's a corn here, and when a brother fell out the truth, he had told us, like, months ago, the spirit has been gone from that brother, the former camp head. So imagine in times to come when you got the karate. Best believe brother is going to be on a higher spiritual frequency, man. We're going to know build the spirit, Lord will, that you took it or you didn't take it. You're going to move a little different. It's something in the spirit that's going to indicate, and indicate means what? To point out that you done done something.
Yeah, that's, that's why the spirit been on the beloved El Paso Bar for months, really years. I'm, I'm gonna say years. Basically, he's been speaking about men that are no longer a part of, of this circle, as we call it, you know? Men are, that are no longer in the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a spirit on them where, where they gonna say the karabu because you don't believe it's the truth anymore. You know, so, so now you're completely susceptible, like you open to it. You know, you got men that leave, they believe all they just can be saved now, you know, and because and, you know, you gotta remember, they're much worse than they were before. You know? Mm -hmm. you, you know, Jay Lee, the truth, you, you getting tats now. You, you ain't had one tattoo at first. Right. Right. Dye your hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the weed. Yeah. Hang with Keisha with her. Hang with Keisha yeah. and shit. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah, but you know what, man? God speaks to you niggas. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I guess 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 6. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to tell you something about that name. The names is an indication that you have the Holy Spirit. Because when you go into that living water, it's Zio, which means those that are worthy of the names, man. Go ahead, bro. Like I can add, yeah. you can see everybody calling on Christ more, too, man. Yeah. Tyrant. That's right. Uh, they just double down with these Christ things. ICPK on it. ICPK. Like, everybody's doubling down with this whole Christ thing in the clutch, man. And you got to look at the timing of these niggas, too, man. You know, look at the timing when they, you know, came with all this madness. And then you had a state of emergency with the, uh, the new sickness over there in Congo, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they started to lock things down over there in, in Africa, man. Because they all getting their order from one entity, That's man, it. the elite. That's it. You know? And That's it's no it. coincidence that, you know, when the, uh, the titles change and, and, and the doctrine change, you, you can't make it up. They have to be getting the same orders from the same people. You know, because when you look at, um, you know, uh, General uh, Nathaniel, their doctrine, like, pretty much when you look at all these like, who's is a collective, their doctrine is pretty much the same, man. But, but when you close, you know, study closely um, the IUIC, the ICPK, and, and um, it came out dealing with the, uh, I, uh, how, how you say the name? ICG, the JC, you know, uh, Comfy New Church, we know what. Uh, the discomfort is, you know, he in the spirit world now, but they teach the exact same doctrine, man. Pretty much, and, and I'm glad the brother's speaking on this, because they're not showing themselves worthy of the names, you know, because they're teaching that the Heavenly Father is the Son. You know, they're teaching the same thing, so they took the same deal, man. That's it, bro. You know, what you got it. So back in 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 6, now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, that you will draw yourselves from every brother that walk in this order. Hey, if y'all niggas done took that Karagma, man, we ain't fucking with you. Period. If you're pushing a different doctrine, we're not fucking with you. Period. Right? Because at the end of the day, that's how them demons latch on to you, bros, man. So when you see a brother that's acting a little weird, hey, you supposed to go to that brother one-on-one, -on -one, right? That's the protocol. And then if he doesn't hear you, you're supposed to bring the witnesses. And if he don't hear you and the witnesses, you're supposed to bring the church. And if he doesn't hear the entire camp, you're supposed to push it up. Period. But that brother has all these warnings and warnings and warnings before the Most High casts him out of his household, which is the body of uh, Mashiach. All right. Yep. So it said that you will draw yourselves from every brother that walketh discordantly, right. and not after the tradition which he received of us. Right, and the tradition is to follow the Lamb wheresoever he goes. That's the tradition. Follow the protocol of Yahweh Shem al to have faith. Right? Because anything else, you're what? It's a boy. Go ahead. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, starting in verse 16. But so we're talking about, you know, when they, uh, anybody take this garage, my how you gonna know it, man, when it comes down to the spirit, okay? This, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 16, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. So we're the sons of the Most High because of this knowledge, right? Which you can also link up, I think it's Ephesians, either 2 and 6 or 2 and 8, which goes into the gift given us to understand this knowledge. And if you know anything about a gift, it can be given and also taken back. Go ahead. Because if, if, if we're the church of those most high, and you take that Karagma, you pretty much a runaway from that point. 
Yeah. You didn't like the being in the house of David, man. That's right. So you you really are uh, fucking straight now. Yes, yeah. Outside the temple. Yeah, yeah, outside the temple. Which makes you profane. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Verse 17. And if and if children, being heirs, heirs of the most high, and joint heirs of Hamashiach, mm -hmm. if so be that we suffer with him that we may also be glorified together. Right, so you have to share Yahushua's struggle in order to receive Yahushua's glory. You gotta carry your cross. You gotta carry your own cross. And at times, another brother will actually help. Also, at other times, you're gonna have brothers, at times, help you with carrying your cross. Did not Simon Sarin assist Yahushua? Right, but at the end of the day, once you regroup, Hey, you regroup, you refocus, and you continue to fight the good fight. Remember, this faith is a steep hill going up, uphill. It's an uphill battle. Uh, fall seven times. It, that's it. We fall seven times, right? But at the end of the day, you cannot let your sins weigh you down because Satan is utilized. That is a tactic, right, to make you doubt yourself and break your faith. Uh, that's another attribute of a father, you know, that he'll go through the uncomfortable. So his children can be comfortable, man. His wife and children can be comfortable. You know? Like a man working 12, 14 hours, yeah. you know, two, three jobs, taking shit from, you know, from a supervisor. A father do that, all right? So his family can be comfortable. So you have a shot, got uncomfortable. So we can be comfortable as far as having the grace period to do this work, man. And now we're uncomfortable. Yep. Yeah. Right, and we're doing it in the stand of Yahweh Shah, yep. which makes us going back into fathers. Yep. So we have to be more real, the original fathers that were spoken of when Yahweh Shah stated that you have been with me from the beginning. Abu Ratazah. Go ahead, boy. Verse 18 For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in even the time frame of the Parabola, right? Even the time frame of Jacob's trouble is still not worthy, more worthy for you to break and, and give up your salvation. Right. But still, we don't know. So Lord, we're, we're predestined to keep going, man, but we never know. Because remember, the elect shall scarcely be saved. And that's in the nick of fucking time, literally. Go ahead. Yep. All right. That's why we gotta stay at home. That's it. Hey, we don't know. You know, and, and it, again, it's gonna be a fearful thing. You know, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of your house from the other Like, you, you could think, you know, that you, you're going one way and that you're gonna, you know, be saved and you, that you're not gonna do certain things to a fear. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be through faith, you know, and, and not a, not a, a, a prideful spirit that we continue in the things, you know, uh, with the Yahweh Shemel Shah gave us so that we may obtain salvation. That's it. That's a beautiful thing. I got one. All right, go ahead. This St. Corinthians 13 and 5, examine yourselves. Hey, when you go into that term, examine in the Greek, it means to thoroughly scrutinize yourself, right? So if a brother's telling you, whatever you're going, if you're not listening, you need to listen for it. If you talk too much, you need to listen for it. You know, you need to be quiet. At the end of the day, because when you think about it, if you stand so close to a fucking mirror, you can't see your full image, right? But you have brothers to assist you with this process, but you gotta be spiritual enough to fucking listen. And I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this, uh, once again, if you're going against a camp, and if the camp is saying one thing about you, is you. It's fucking you. If, if Elder Z say something about me, I have to be spiritual enough to know and non emotion enough to do and not fall out of this truth. Because I'm going to say, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. And that's your Howard Shah talking to you, telling you, feel the spirit, that look, nigga, you're going off. But you got to believe your Howard Shah dealing And see, you got to believe that your Howard Shah dealing with brothers, man. Brothers mm -hmm. under you, brothers on, on, on your same, you know. And brother, you know, I was shot dealing from top to bottom. That's it. You know? That's it. I was watching this video from the front of her lock. You know, other morning, man. Had blood all over the car, cut. You know? Mm -hmm. And the car said, God damn, come get your sword, brother. <laughs> you know? But you gotta have that awareness and that humility really to understand that the spirit be on brother. That's it, it, man. Might, a younger brother might 
Yeah. How was shot might be on there, brother, tell you something, man. Yeah. And that's a test of your integrity and our humility. Man. That priest, when, when Paul was uh, pre, uh, corrected uh, Peter, yep, yep. he was a younger brother. Yep, yep. But at the same time, friend, though, hey, don't get it twisted. He did it in decent, decently in order. Yeah, he did it, he did it right but at the same time, friend, he had to correct them. So you still gotta be spiritual enough. Oh man, I've been in the truth three or four years but ahead of you. You don't know nothing, little nigga. No, you better be spiritual enough to know because that same brother can take your place, man. But then like Elder Zia said, you know, like Brother Elder Sahab said, you know, when you deal with our, for lack of better words, uh, uh, bracket, you know, when you deal with the men that you came in with, yeah, it, it, it's a, you know, a, a ranking system, you know, but at the same time, we was all watching the same video. So, you know, a, a man can't necessarily act like he puts you on something. Because really it's a thing of the spirit, man. That's you it. know, we, we, we all been watching, you know, the apostles and the elders. And there's brothers the Lord has there to, to pour into you by way of their gift. Yep. But it's, it, it's, not, it's not a thing of where man is taking credit, man. Like, like you know, you, you, you putting men on something because your Howard Shaw takes offense at that because the gift is from him. And you have you know? entered into other men's... Labor. There we go. Labor. Yeah, go ahead, Z. They say, man, uh, those men in your camp are prophets. That's right. Like the, the school of the prophets. Yeah. So that man that came in two years ago, that's a man of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So certain things they tell you, man, that's a prophet talking to you. That's it. Uh, the same way uh, of our forefathers, prophets was talking to Adam. That's right. Prophets was talking to Cain. King David. King, prophets was talking to Cain. But I've been, her life might have been one of them. Like, those are prophets. Look like one. He looked like a prophet. Uh, uh, you know what I mean, So, no, prophets have been the truth or the count. Three, four years, those are prophets, man. So you have to look at it through the spirit, man. Yeah. Like, like, like Elder Kazak was saying, yeah, there, there's a ranking system for order, but we all learn from the apostles from right here. So they watch videos that we didn't watch. That's right. They might know certain breakdowns or certain updates that we went up on, man. That's it, man. It, it, it's, it's, it's the spirit, but we all come to compliment each other. Mm -hmm. That's the body. That's the body. Like uh, the priest said, you know what I'm saying, you have a shot working from the top to the bottom. I mean, your head, your brain, your mind, it deals with your feet, man, your legs. They work together to make shit happen, man. You know, if you ain't got no fucking legs and your mind telling you to run, where you going? Yeah. You ain't going no damn world, man, so it all works together, man. Yeah, because the, cause the brain communicates with the entire body. Good. Even the pinky toe. Yeah. Even, even the, uh, the, the, um, the hidden organ, you know, the, the parts you don't see as much, man. Yeah. You know? Hey, you got it, bro. Hey, you still this is uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. says, Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Right. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that your Howard Shah is in you, except you be retrofate. So this is a time frame that we need to work on our weaknesses. Yeah. Any issues that we're having, we need to strengthen those weaknesses, man, because Satan can use that during the time frame of the corona. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what you do? You ask y'all about your Howard Shah to strengthen you, man. Increase your uh, uh, faith. You know, just build you up, man. Hey, you know? for, can I say something? For example, if say no, you can't go right with the ball, what you need to do? You need to work on going right. If your post game is weak, you need to work on your post game. Yep. You know, if you're if you if you go on left is weak, you need to work on that. This is the time frame to do it because during the time frame of Corona, hey, you're not gonna have time to go out there and warm up. No, it's game time. Yep. And guess what Sane gonna do? He gonna make your ass go left. Yeah. He yeah. gonna make, if you can't go left, he gonna make you go left. Yeah. And he'll be a fool not to. He'll be a fool not to. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, 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 what you call exposure, mm -hmm. you know? So, and, and it says know yourself because of a lot of men like, like with her side, like his whole thing is trying to be deep, you know? But being deep ain't the end all be all to the truth, man. You just deal with your portion. But what, what I've been learning this last couple years, man, is knowing yourself and just as vital as knowing is if you're 38, the it. whole breakdown. Because you can know that breakdown and don't know you. And you done. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Because Satan know you. That's right. <laughs> Satan, Satan is scouting. That's right. You know, so like we really got to know ourselves and that's what we got to really lean on other brothers because we need a check and balance. That's it. <laughs> like you need that check and balance. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, we all need that check and balance, and when you think you're above that, you're done. That's it. A couple more. Go ahead, bro. Right next to you. Man.
It's Revelation 13 and 16. It reads, <clears throat> and he calls it all, both small and great. Right, and let's talk about what the nobility, the nobility of Edom, right? Because they control this entire system, man. Go ahead. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bun. Right. When you go into that term all, it's a Greek term pause. And notice your father always bring this up. How do you define uh, how do you define all? Small and great, rich and poor, free and bun. All social classes are fucking covered. Hence the term all. Go ahead, bro. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Right, and that mark is the Quran. Now guess what? It's gonna be introduced in a non-threatening manner. But according to Revelation 3 and 10, get that book. He's, he's going to present it as a, a, a salvation. That's right. From the chaos. That's it. You know, he's going to uh, uh, present it, all right, according, you know, a Jew way to see it. A better way. Mm -hmm. everybody, he, he purposely got everybody complaining about the governments of the world. Right. That's what the elites want if you complain about your government. So they can swoop in and say, well, you got a new way to do everything. You know, yeah. Yeah. say you want to catch you with your shirt off. Yeah. It's Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also, also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Hold on. What? Hold on. Ooh. Not you, not me. Read that again, bro. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. I will also keep you from the hour of temptation. I will also keep you from the hour of temptation. Are you want to say something? Yeah, yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for, for, you know, for the salt, you know. Yeah, brother. But yeah, man, the, the heavy thing about it, you know, the, the spiritual part about it, because see, we not up here seeking to be deep. You know, like you got these different great debaters of Israel, you know, Genesis and them. We ain't seeking to be some deep guys, man. You know, yeah, how about some outside deep? And who's getting on the topic of free will, there are not being any free will. You know? Only get how about Shemel Shah has free will, man. You know? Ultimately the Heavenly Father himself. Once again, thy will be done, as it is written in the Lord's Prayer. So this thing's so deep, you know, and Lord willing we up that number, you know, you know, to be delivered. The Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai keeps you in the truth, you know. He, he makes you hold on to the word of his suffering, but, but then he's going to keep you from the hour of temptation. So what, what did you have to do with any of that? You, you, first and foremost, you didn't keep yourself in the truth, That's right. and then you didn't keep yourself from taking the karate. That's right. That was all That's foreordained by you. How about Shemiah was shot? That's it. You know? That's it. That's you got it, bro. Well said. Read that again. That's my, my aunt. And hey, we were just building up his wheel. That's it. That's it. Read that again, bro. It's because... Thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the most high through your house shot is going to give you the faith and fear not to take it. He's going to put that mindset in you. Like, look, okay, if I got to go to the guillotine, fuck it. If I got to sit in the concentration camp, fuck it. If I got to be on the run until they catch me, fuck it. Right? It's your house shot that does the preventing. Right? He... He gives us the Holy Spirit from Yahweh through him, a minister by the angels. Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, which shall come upon the whole world. Right, so it's going to come on the entire world, right? The entire world will be tested. But guess what? Only the Israelites can pass or fail this test. Only the Israelites can pass or fail. Go ahead. To try them that dwell upon the earth. To prove them. And what's being proved? Your faith, your integrity. Please, bro, give the etymology of uh, trial. You got to go into two words, like two or three. And you got it. No, no, man. man. <laughs> yeah, so to try them that dwell on the earth, man. In a, in a oikum mini sis. In a oikum mini sis, you're talking about the entire planet earth, man. You know? Um, the etymology of, of trial. Um, Examine judiciously. No, no, Bible will get in blue letter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the whole point, man, you know, we're approaching this time, and it's going to be a very dark time on the earth. And see, we in a time when the Heavenly Father is going to fully display the uh, the cruel nature of Esau Edom, man. 
See, we, we haven't seen that fully turned up. We, we ain't seen it halfway turned up. Like pretty much, the, you know, the Heavenly Father been keeping Esau, Edom, you know, very uh, uh, mild. You know, you can say lower than that, man. We, we haven't really seen them fully be themselves, man. You know? But see, we, we, we about to enter that time when they, they gonna do it. You know, like the, the, the very, uh, the very thought or the very idea that, that, that you got a, uh, a nigga woman running for office, Esau Edom is losing it, man. You know, especially these, these uh, patriotic Edomites, you know? So to them, the country, well, this corporation, America is going to hell in a handbasket, man. And they, they, they not gonna just, you know, they not, they, not, they not gonna just let it go, you know? They gonna fight for this so-called country, man. So this is how we enter into, but it's a lot of, um, there, there's a lot of different uh, uh, pictures, for lack of better words, you, because you gotta do the Heavenly Father's the grand, like this grand artist, man, like, you know, like this, like this great artist, like they can make a masterpiece, like he, you know, like he making a mural, like the Heavenly Father making a mural, and you add all these different pictures, you know, like it, it, it takes time to combine it, and you put it all together in one, that's, that's what Jacob's trouble gonna be, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. This is uh, the track in, uh, in the Greek, I just in, uh, in the Greek, it's um, definition three, two, to try, make trial of, test for the purpose of ascertaining his quality or what he thinks or how he will behave himself. Right, because see, like the brother was getting into, the thing is, we don't know, man. That's why we, we're called prisons of hope. We don't know, you know? But, Lord willing, the Heavenly Father keep us here because it's all predestined. It's all for ordained. Our hope is that we serve your how about you shy in our past lives, man. The hope is that really you, you did it before, so you can do it again. The hope is that we still follow, yeah, like you said, it, follow. Yeah, yeah, you're you, you going to continue, because if you up that number, like Rose reading that, my sheep and my voice, and they follow me, right? And like he was quoting Revelation, these are they which follow the Lamb whatsoever he go up. So you not only follow him in this life, you follow him in your past lives too. And you just came back again to continue following him. The same entity, which we know is separate from the Father, that's a different topic, but we're going to talk about that too. Because, see, we heard to glorify the Son and the Father, but, you know, the Heavenly Father really wants us to put emphasis on the Son. You know? You got it? The Son is dealing with us. Yeah, the Son is dealing with us, man. Yeah, we having our one-on-one -on -one with Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father not dealing with us directly, man. And, you know, the, the thing is, when you deal with all these different Israelite groups, they all had a common factor where they removed the names, man. You know, the Apostle Paul was speaking about that earlier, you know, the ICGJC, you know, um, uh, Tazadaki, Dockey, which he in the spirit world now, was named Jermaine Grant, you know, but the Heavenly Father took him out, but see, they removed the name Yahweh Shai, you know, and, and, and I want to say that, well, you know, I got to look at the video again, I want to say they were calling Yahweh Shai Yahweh, man, you know, and they was calling the Heavenly Father something else. You know? They all got Hebrew. Yeah, but yeah, the irony of that, but this, once again, showing you how, you know, men sell out the route they go. And, and um, the main thing you see, you know, the, the common fact when it comes to the doctrine, they all remove the names. Okay? But see, us, us continuing in the full truth, continuing what we learn, this is going to protect us from the karate. Because you can't have a, a, a shank in your armor, man. You know, a uh, holding your shield, you know, you're hey, you, you going to get gotten, man. All right? But the, the Lord, he's testing our quality. What, what, when we've been, you know, um, found worthy. And see, that's why we catch a hell no, man. You know? And I, I've been thinking about it, you know, in the spirit, because we all go through them, them, them trying times. But then the Lord, he'll bring you back to the scriptures. Either you will read something, something that happened throughout your day, that just, you know, just continue to remind you. You have some scriptures on your mind, you would talk to a brother, or you'll watch a video that, that, that'll make you see like, well, hey, this is definitely your how about Shemiah was shot. So we ain't going through it for nothing. We going through this so we can be built up for that, man. Like brothers getting into, that's the ultimate test. But for men that lead is truth, you have no covering, man. Don't you know it's angels on the day to day that they be protecting us, it's all around us? They, they, they keep you from getting jacked up, keep us from getting jacked up, man. 
You know? I believe it's gonna be a hedge of angels around us during that time too. During, during the time of the carabble, man. You know? And it's gonna be evident who the Heavenly Father dealing with. So you can't just walk into Jacob's trouble and be like, what you ain't gonna do. Especially if you're not in the truth anymore, man. Cause the truth was your covering. You know? Go ahead, I, and Job 1 and 10. Job 1 and 9. Then Satan answered Yahweh and said, Does Job fear the most high for nothing? Right, so you know, <laughs> a uh the spiritual demon Satan coming to the Heavenly Father, you know, pretty much talking down on Job, you know. And uh, Job really don't fear you now, like he only fear you, you know, because because you got that hedge around. Mm -hmm. You you you've been protecting him this whole time. You take that head, yeah. we gonna see what you do. You gonna act like a nigga one. And basically, we in the stead of Job, you know. Right. And we don't want to act like see that it's an integrity test. We don't want to have the reaction of the nigga woman, man. You know. In verse ten is one in the NLT. You have always put a wall of protection around him, and his home and his property. You have made him prosper in everything he does. Look how rich he is. Right. And the reason why I brought that out because like you said in your video today, their wall of protection or their hedge is what? And then captains of angels, man. Yep. Back on you. Yeah. And then in of the angels is very real. And I have reason to believe that um they they are around us to, to a degree where it's it's very surreal, man. Like they they're among us and they and they walk as uh, regular men in a lot of cases, man. You know? It could be an angel like that, that live in your, your housing area, live in your apartment complex, you know, you you just think it's you know just a you know a regular Jake. You know, it could be an angel on your job, man, like you, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Walk past the camp and, 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 and see these things happen, you know. That's why hey, going back to an integrity test, you got you gotta know how to deal with people, treat people right, because you, you don't want your reaction to be off and you didn't just talk to a whole angel, man. And you know, and he brought the report back, you know, to the spirit world about you, and he ain't lying on you. So we want to be on point, you know, as best as we can, man. I guess. You know, go ahead. This is uh, Hebrew chapter 13, verse 2. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for there be thereby some have en entertained angels unaware. In Bible shop, you get that word entertain. You know, so it said, um, thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Like, you, you didn't know whose presence you was in, you know? You start with just a regular man like you, you know? And that word uh, unaware, it means in disguise. You know, so they can just pull up on you, man, and you don't even know. I mean, once again, they can come, in, they can come uh, uh, to you as, as regular people, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. This is uh, unawares in the Greek. Lathanos, to be hidden, to be hidden from one secret, unawares without knowing. Right. So th that's the whole point. And um, the thing is, the Heavenly Father's power, hey, like the beloved Apostle Paul been saying, what you don't see is greater than what you do see. You know, the Heavenly Father, he don't got to prove himself. See, man on earth, you know, mankind got to prove themselves. Man. The Heavenly Father don't got to prove himself, you know? He, he can just show his power anytime he wants to. And Lord will, we can get that. I believe that's in uh, Wisdom of Solomon. If I'm mistaken, chapter 11, you know. But he can show his power anytime he wants to. But, you know, what he does, he he um, he um shows his power in doses, so to speak. Because really, what he can really do, a lot of time, man ain't ready for it, man. And we in the time, he gonna show that type of power. Power people really ain't ready for, man. So right now, that power is subtle, you know. It's, it's hidden because he's a he's a power that hides himself. But we in the town, he's gonna show himself, man. You know, and it's no it's no longer gonna be you know his men are hidden in plain sight. It's just these men on the corner you consider crazy, you know, screaming. They say we got dresses on and shit. Nah, man, you gonna know the heavenly father been dealing with us, man, the whole time. You know, and it wasn't something wrong with us. It was something wrong with you because y'all ain't listen, man. Because it's the time. You know? it's the time we're gonna be calm. Other time we're gonna be at peace, you know, and the, and the beast of the field gonna be at peace with us, and then it's gonna be them bugging out seeking what the word they're gonna be seeking uh, those same men who they was down, you know, uh, mocking and stalking, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, 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 we can still get it. I got it. I got it. I think it's just more of a trial test. No, no, it's another one. Hey, you just get the scripture, bro? I got that uh, definition for entertain for the elder priest of the Bible. And the Hebrew is uh, Hebrew. Seniso. In the Greek, Salak, it's Seniso. But it's uh, the scripture in the Hebrew. In Hebrews uh, 13 and 2. Yeah, Hebrews 13 and 2. Um, to receive as a guest, to entertain hospitality. Hospitality. Because at the end of the day, you don't know who's who. So it's very important that we remain spiritual just in case that was an angel. Yeah, and, and they're closer than you think. They, they're closer than we think, you know? To stay as a guest. Yeah, hey, you, you uh, call to remembrance the time our forefathers Abraham and Lot, you know? Yeah. When, you, when you call that to remembrance, pretty much um, the, the angels came as visitors, man. First, it was three of them. They came to visit Abraham. And pretty much, hey, one of them was Yahweh shot. Right. And he, he told Abraham, our, our father Abraham, I'm, I'm going to return to you according to the time of life. Right. Pretty much, I'm going to come back as your son. That's it. And, you know, in Sarah Val, and that's, that's where you get, you know, the Lord's name in one of his former reincarnations, uh, Isaac. Which means right. what? Bro? Which means laughter. That's right. You know, the pretty much she was doubting that she could have, you know, babies. You know, because they, they was of age. Right. You know, it's showing you our history is far out. But, Dealing with the history of Israel, there have always been angels among us, you know, you know, visiting our people. And, it, and there's no coincidence, all 12 tribes, no matter southern kingdom or northern kingdom, had these different encounters where, where, where these entities would, would visit them. And, and, and they would look like us. And, you know, for you southern kingdom brothers, or let's say you northern kingdom, but you look like southern kingdom, the ants look like our people, man. You know, but I have reason to believe that, you know, um, there's even archangels around us, man. Because, you know, I was going through a, uh, you could say, an episode, you know, a few months back, where I kept consecutively, I kept consecutively seeing the name Gabriel a lot. It, and it was back out the back. It was back out the back, bro. Either it was the name Gabriel or it was like a variant of that name. But, but it was like, boom. But like, nah, you're going to see it. Like, I, I'm like, man, because you know how like, you don't want to act like you, you know you're tripping. Or you don't want to think you're tripping. You know, and then we, we humble guys, you know. Like you don't want to think, you know, you don't think you're tripping, but so you, you know you look away from me and you see it again. You know? You know what I'm saying? So I have reason to believe that it, it's not only angels among us, but archangels, especially among the elder apostles and elder bishops, man. You know, and then you think about it, the time we in, we really need that type of power, man. Cause Esau Edom won't come with it, you know? You got it, bro. Oh, I'm gonna say, cause hey, in the time of trouble, the scriptures goes how we gonna be uh like as pilgrims upon the earth, man. And you know who's gonna be direct in our steps? How about some male shot by way of angels, man? So, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna Ooh. have the angels directing our steps, man, through the spirit. How about some male shot, man? It's gonna be certain signs, you know what I'm saying? Tags it might be a sign on the wall, one four four. It could be, you know what I'm saying? Just it's gonna be spiritual. Uh, uh, advancements, man, because we're going to be seeing all these different signs, and that's going to be a part of spiritual power, man. And that spiritual power will continue increasing until it comes a physical spiritual power. Man. And, and and it's the spiritual power of yeah, how about Shai? As long as we remember that, you know, we'll, we'll be okay because it, it ain't from us, you know. And, and all the Lord doing is really He's He's increasing. Uh, uh, your connection to him, man. Yeah, and that's the Holy Spirit. Yep, that's it. You know, that's it. And it starts with this knowledge. You teaching and being able to feel the Spirit to wake up a person from the congregation of the dead, that's a spiritual resurrection. Man. That's it, bro. And this is Judges 13 and 13. And the angel of Yahweh said unto Manoah, Of all that I said unto the woman, let her beware. And Manoah was actually the father of uh, Samson. Yeah, come, come. Verse 14. She may not eat of anything that comes of the vine, neither let her drink wine or strong drink, nor eat any unclean thing. All that I commanded her, let her observe. Yeah, yeah. So um, th th there was a, uh, an assignment for this particular uh, son, which would be uh, Samson. He would be a Nazarite from his mother's womb. But that was according to the will of yeah, how about Shimei was shy, man. You know? And, 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 and he had that power. Uh, you know, so if our, our uh, 
forefathers, you know, men of greatness received the power back then, how much more so now? That's right, bro. You know? When, when, when you have the majority of the Lord's men on earth right now. That's right. You got it, bro. Judges 13 to 15. And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, I pray you, let us detain you until we shall have made ready a kid for you. Right, right, because hey, he was a guest. That's right. <laughs> you know? That's right. You got it, brother. And the angel of Yahweh said unto Manoah, Though you detain me, I will not eat of your bread. And if you will offer a burnt offering, you must offer it unto Yahweh. For Manoah knew not that he was an angel of Yahweh. But, but, but he knew he was special. That's you right. know, he, he knew it was something about that man. That's right. So he had the Holy Spirit. He had the Holy Spirit on him, you know? Verse 17 is important. And Manoah said unto the angel of Yahweh, What is your name that when your sayings come to pass, we may do you honor? Right, right. P pretty much, uh, they believe he's a prophet. That's right. You know? Uh, you got it. And the angel of Yahweh said unto him, Why ask you thus after my name, seeing it is secret? Right. It's proof he was angel. That's right. You know, the whole point is, you know, he, he gave them specific instruction on what to do right. concerning their son, uh, Samson. And, and that name for out too. That's right. Because in the Hebrew of Shamsha 1, you know what it means? It means solar. Ooh. Like, like, like solar power. That's right. Like the sun. Like the sun. That's right. And, and Samson, hey, he was on fire, man. Mm -hmm. When it came, you know, to uh, taking out the enemies of Israel. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. And when, even when you go into uh, the angel, he wasn't about glorifying himself. That's why he didn't reveal his name that, either. That, yeah. That's it. That's it, bro. Verse 19. So Manoah took the kid with the meat offering and offered it on a rock unto Yahweh. And the angel did wondrously. And Manoah and his wife looked on. For it came to pass when the flame went up toward heaven from off the altar that the angel of Yahweh ascended in the flame of the altar. And Manoah and his wife looked on it and fell on their faces to the ground. And something like that happened right now, that would, that would bug people out, man. That's right. That, that, would, that would mess people up. You, you see an angel ascend up into, into uh, you know, the fire, man. That's it. And, 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 and go up to the heavens, you know? And that's how they knew it was an angel. Yeah, because it as it's written, uh, who make of his uh, angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, Ooh. you know? But you know, hey, the Heavenly Father, we in a time where he's going to show massive power that we've never seen before, man. And, and that's why, our righteous, our Father will, he keeps us in his truth, and he keeps us from the hour of temptation. Now, we're going to go back to that scripture, you know, you read it again, and you go to uh, the root word. Oh, Bible Shaka, you get it, and then you get the root word, Revelation 3 and 10. You know, because we're going to need protection from that. First and foremost, you know, we need the spirit on us, you know. And I have reason to believe the Spirit is on us now because the Lord blessing us to do this. He blessing us to do this. All right? So you need the Spirit on you. And also, with the Spirit being on you, you need awareness. You have to be aware of what it is so that you don't take it. All right? But really, all oh, that's, you know, it's simply a part of the Lord just having you not take it, man. Really, you can narrow it down to something simple. You know? You got it up. It's Revelation 3 and 10. Because I have kept the word of my patience. I also will keep that out. I will also keep from the hour of temptation. Because yeah, how much shy knows that you're suffering, man. It, 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 it ain't that we just catch a hell and that's it. And, and Lord will, Spirit on us, man, you know, we'll, we'll talk more about the miracles the Lord going to show. Once again, the power he's going to show. Leading us up into the kingdom, man. Because eventually, this, this straight gate is, is going to become, uh, you know, broad, so to speak. Meaning, we in the town, the Lord going to start rewarding his servants, the prophets, you know? It's not only gonna be just difficulty and that's it. I like you playing a game, you switch from difficulty to uh, to easy, you know? And go from difficult to easy. That's what the Heavenly Father gonna do, you know? Cause it ain't like you just being tested and you know, just, he's gonna be tested forever, man. Nah, bro. Cause he, he's your Heavenly Father for a reason. Hey, and you know? as you get tested upon, the stages get harder. Right, the right. building becomes harder, man. So stage two is nothing like level 22. Level 22 is not nothing like level 52, and so on and so forth. Yep, and, and like the apostles been mentioning, man, through the spirit, us remaining spiritual is gonna help us understand those levels, you know? Go ahead, bro. That's it. 
which shall come upon the, all the world. So he's going he gonna to keep you from the hour of temptation, the, uh, the, the time of testing. Go ahead. And we should come upon all the we should come upon all the world. It's gonna affect everybody, man. And we can't talk about it enough. Because when the Lord finally do it, it's really gonna blow you out. Of uh it's gonna it's gonna blow you away. It's knock your socks off. It's, it's gonna blow your mind out, so to speak, man. When you see people lined up around corners to take that thing, it's, it's gonna amaze us too. Hey, listen, you know? hey, and like the brother vision, it's gonna be brothers and great millstones. That you see in that line, and Lord will is not us. Because remember, Judas is following Yahweh. So somebody has to fulfill that role as well, man. And that in that significance. Like I say, the Lord gave us a prelude when it comes to that jab, man. You know, a lot of people was around Collins, man. I remember coming up uh, one of these streets in Jackson, what's it over there for uh, the Brooklyn? Oh, uh, Ken. Oh, Ken. It was a bus out there, man, and, and, and Jake was lined up. I know what you're talking about. They was ready to get it, man. In that church, in that church parking lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, that yeah. Church in the church parking lot. That bus still over there, too. Yeah. 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 Just waiting for the next one. Yeah, but area uh, of. We, we do a uh, church care thing on Saturdays. That motherfucker be. They be at the motherfucker. 7 o'clock in the morning. Up there. At, they be ready. At 7 o'clock in the morning. My boy ain't open. Yeah. They, they be ready. Yeah. yeah. That show ready for that damn one night. And you can equate that to, you know what I'm saying, when the, when the rich man speak, man, because they go and all these uppity people telling you uh, uh, these so-called doctors and scientists telling you to get it. And y'all take that as like these physicians and everything, like they really know. So you hot telling to go down to Egypt to get hit up, man. And society was still in, in a kind of moving around doing shit. It was a lockdown, but it wasn't no, no, uh, uh, just a complete vice grip like that. But what are you gonna do when they say you can't do a damn thing? You can't pay your bills, you can't go nowhere, you can't get in your vehicles, you can't get no gas, you can't do a damn thing unless you get this carabo, man. You know, what are you gonna do? And, See, that's, that's, that's the thing, bro. And the economy of America, they can, uh, the economy of America cannot take another shutdown. I repeat, they, it cannot, Resist another shutdown. That's how you know it's over. That's yeah. right, bro. You know, this is all preparation. What you see, you know, for what they're really gonna do. You know, go ahead, bro. Get back to it. I'm just gonna read back. Home. That's cool. I determine three and ten, because I have kept the words of my patient. I also will keep thee from the hour. I will also keep thee from the hour temptation. So yeah, how Shah has to protect you from taking that thing, man. That's right. You know, so you can't just be like, you're not going to do it. Yeah. Cause like the brother was making the point earlier, there were men that were saying they was going to keep teaching after they left camps and, and where they at. Yeah, so, so they didn't do what they said, man. Or Demas. Demas was a fellow uh, laborer with Apostle Paul. But guess what? He wasn't cherry picked by Yahweh Shimon Shah. And that a lot of times he was removed. He was plucked out of the, out of the body, man. Nothing. You guys, they, they, they didn't fear. Like, if you, 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 you feel like the truth, you learn, and you learn all this knowledge. And, and yeah, I feel like the truth. I went, well, I went to teach Yeah, I be fear. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. And see, that's you the point. Like Judas. When Judas was sitting at that table, what you how was I saying? That you got to do. You know what I'm saying? You do it. And Satan entered into it. He, he, he wasn't in control. He wasn't yeah. in control. Because you know, naturally, you wouldn't have wanted to do that like yeah. you you about to betray the the highest entity in the universe un, under the heavenly father man yeah see, no one wants that role that's right the point and it's easy to say what you won't do when you got the holy spirit on you but when the most i take it from you you don't know you're a different creature and that's the point too it's the land bank you uh you know you and uh captain thousand one you're a different creature the lord takes the holy spirit but also he removes that fear yep. and, right. and, and 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 that's that's the end of that that's you know? it you gotta say fear at the beginning of wisdom, man. That's it. And it's wise to fear you. How about should be out of shot? And then, hey, did Judas the scares and not love you? How was shot? Yeah. He loved them, man. He was a part of the twelve. But hey, as we brought out earlier in uh, Proverbs twenty and uh, twenty-four, man, man's goings of, of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? You don't have no control over it, man. That's right. And that's why he was classified as the son of perdition. Because even throughout reincarnation, such as this time frame right now, 
Judas can never come back in his truth. Why? Because Matthias took over his bishopric. Right? So he was only in the truth for that time frame. But when he come back in this time frame, he never came in. Yeah, so he can be he he's super messed up. Like wh wherever he is, yeah, wherever he is. He's fucked up. He ain't in his right mind, though. Go ahead, bro. Uh, uh, I was gonna pick me from our temptation. Which it come, which it come upon all the world, right? Try them to dwell on the earth. That, it, to try them to dwell upon earth. Now that word "try" means to test, but let's see what also it means. Go ahead, bro. Um, it's in the Greek for run. It says, um, it says, because because we getting it a uh, word right there. You know the, the word "try." All right, you look, you look up that word, then you go to the root word of that, then you go to the root word of that. You know, and then you go to the next one, and this is the, the next. One. To pierce. So to try means to pierce. Mm -hmm. To pierce them to dwell upon earth. So there has to be the karabu, man. Mm. It's, it's no other way you can break mm. it down. To pierce them that dwell upon earth. Go ahead. I, yeah. hey, I got some praise for him. Okay. Hey, where he you, hey read, that, read that definition again, bro. It says to pierce. You got anything else? Yeah, it says uh, root as, as verb or preposition. He said Pierce, right? right. Isaiah 36 and 6. Lo, you trust in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean. Right, broken reed, you know, it's, it's an oppressive system. That's right. You know, right. go ahead. And it's not stable because it's broken. Right. Lo, you trust in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt. And that's another thing, too. Esau Edom, he wants to implement, he wants to implement technology. He wants to put something in your head on your hands that he doesn't even fully understand yet. Right. He doesn't, even, he doesn't even fully understand how the human mind works, bro. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, he wants to put a karaba in. Right. But he's showing you this the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, Go ahead, bro. Whereon, if a man lean. If you lean, meaning you depend on it. That's right. You trust in it. That's right. It will go into his hand and pierce it. And it's literal. And it's spiritual because it's talking about, you know, Egypt, man. That's right. You know, and our people was always making these different alliances with Egypt, man. That's they, right. they would always want to run to Egypt. Woe to you what? They go down to Egypt for help. Right. But showing you this history, you know, repeating itself, man. Uh, you know? So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. Yeah. And and, and who's the modern day Pharaoh? It will be these uh, top elite bankers, you know? These top elite banking members, man. You know what I'm saying? But um it's morning. Yeah, you're gonna finish it out. It says, uh, to pierce. As as adverb or preposition, i.e. across beyond farther. What's that? Side. It said beyond farther. So you you you're you're beyond reach, so to speak. Once you take that karama, you 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 too far gone to be taken out of it. Right. It says beyond or farther. Right. You know, so you know you 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 feel that test. Yeah. But Lord, Lord forbid we felt it. You know, we right. we hope to pass it, you know. But you know, you feel that test, you're you're beyond reach. You cross that line, you can't come back from right. it. And it's so many words, that's what that's saying. That's right. It says beyond or across. You got it, bro. Like I said, because when you take the Karabma, you have violated the first commandment. Amen. You have pretty much made this man your God. That's right. That's right. That's right. You gave your, 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 uh, your reverence. Your reverence. Yeah. 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 That means what you're honor, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And to, to, to somebody else, that means. To another power. Uh, to another power. Yeah. Yeah. Your, 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 your reverence, which is your yeah. fear, your fidelity, which is your faith. Because yeah. yeah. that's why we in the time, keep speaking about it through the spirit, man. We got to expect miracles. Yeah. Like Elder Z, he was speaking on, speaking on that light, you know? We have to expect miracles because we got to believe in the Heavenly Father through faith now. We got to believe he going to make a way out of no way, so to speak. Yeah. You know? Because you know, you think about it, you know, uh, the time of testing, you know, the hour of temptation, and, and Jacob's trouble, they give the Lord's room, you know, they give the Lord room to show us power. Man, and guess you know? what just had? A red Mustang. Mustang is symbolic of power, of course. You know? They got a priest of the one. James 4 and 13 in the NLT. Look here, you who say today or tomorrow, we are going to a certain town and will stay there a year. You don't know. <laughs> you don't you don't know. Cause you don't know what's gonna happen to you today. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I I've been getting a lot of quotes from the elder man. He, he be saying he ain't deep now, nah, brother. You you deep when you through the spirit. 
through the spirit of that brother Pete, man. But he be saying some deep things in the spirit. But basically, when he made years ago, this when the Lord first brought us into knowledge. That the Lord had him wake me up to knowledge. But some he said in like 2010, his life on earth is the most high Sims game. You know? To me, that was that was a deep statement to make. That was like our emphasy in the truth, you know? But I said that, that, that was something he said in the spirit. This life on earth is the most high Sims game. You know, and you play a, a, a Sims game, any, any one of them, Sim is short for simulation. And pretty much, you control all those characters, man. That's how the Heavenly Father does with mankind on the earth. Something else he said that was deep in the spirit is tomorrow is already written out in the spirit world. So, going back to a simulation, going back to algebra, it's going to happen exactly how it's supposed to. There's nothing you can do to alter. Like, like you know, you got game creators. You know, everybody don't play video games, you know, I get it, you know. Because hey, they're not important like that. You know, you pay them, as, pay them as a pastime, you know, that's cool. But you deal with, with those creators of those games, if, if a, a certain level or a certain board is created, it's, it's going to stay that way. Like, you, you know, you, you can't go back into the game, you know, or you, you can't contact whoever that is and, and have them, you know, say, we know, stop that or, or change that. Nah, that, that version of the game has already came out. That level, that boy is going to play out exactly how it is. And that's pretty much how life is for mankind on the earth. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's even more emphasis for those of us that is, that's involved in this truth. Because the, the angels, like the them eyes, are more so on us, more mm -hmm. than anybody, you know? Can I ask something? I can finish it off. Oh, yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah. Back in James 4 and 13, 4 and 13, we will do business there's folks I read again. Okay, so lot, bro. James 4 and 13 in the NLT. Look here, you who say today or tomorrow, we are going to a certain town and will stay there a year. We will do business there and make a profit. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? You don't know. And it, it's this perfect starting off with what you was getting into, bro. So, so yeah, you go, go ahead, bro. Your life is like the morning fog. It's here a little while, then it's gone. And the KJV is saying vapor. That's right. So you think about morning fog or you know yeah. vapor, it's really the same thing. Able. Transitory. That's what able means. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you disappear, man. That's right. You you hear, then you gone. That's right. You know, right. Hey, let's go speak about how um this life on earth is, is a, a pilgrimage. You know, it's, it's a journey, man. Or Odyssey, and, and then you know, you, you, you complete that journey. When the heavenly father say you're done with it, your spirit returns to the spirit world. That's right, bro. You know? That's right. Hey, and, and and that's heavy too, because you got men and women that actually do that. Now, um, you know, years ago, you had, you know, a lot of different people that was going out west, you know, and Jake was a part of that too. A lot of men and women going to uh, California, particularly I want to say either LA or San Francisco. And um they had some top-level professions, man, like you know. Um, they didn't went to college, but you know, for these, you know, high level professions, got these different degrees. You know, you have engineers that move out to Cali. Guess what happened to their ass? A lot of them end up homeless, man. You know? They, they thought they could afford their price of living out there. They thought they was going to be good because of what type of, you know, profession they was entered into. They went out to Cali, their ass ended up in a tent city, man. So that's a cut on them. Either they went out there, you know, they homeless, or they didn't probably die, man. You know, just, just making an example, you know? But the thing is, you don't know what's gonna happen to you. That's it. You know, that's why the whole thing is, Lord willing. During Jacob's trouble, we don't know what's gonna happen to us then. Yeah. And we down here in Jackson, we might not be in Jackson, Mississippi, when all hell okay. break, like, break loose, you know? Or well, let's say we're here, the Lord can have you removed and like relocated somewhere. That's it. Or you know what I'm saying? Hey, or during the time of the jail. All crazy, how about you, my son? We had a charity, but that was based on the most high. Like the most I kept us uh, fearful and, and strong and faithful and things of that nature. Yeah, we didn't care about losing our job. We didn't care, but the most I, he, he supplied that spirit to us. Without him, without Yahweh, we can, uh, we never would have made it, literally. It was an eight on the license plate. Dang. Hey, back in uh, Joel 4 and 13, it's like the 4 and 14. Your life is like the morning fall. It's here a little while, it is gone. Verse 15, what you ought to say is, if the Lord wants us to, 
we will live and do this or that. Yeah, so it needs to be more emphasis on that instead of what we think we're doing, because we ain't doing nothing. You know, yeah, how about Shai was shy controlling this? This is program, man. Hey, since you said that, verse 16, otherwise you are boasting about your own plans. And, 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 and <laughs> your, your plans are not your own. That's right. Hey, what's you the know? scriptures of uh, Jeremiah 17 and 6, how the mind is very deceitful. Right? That's the cut on free will also, man. Damn. Because if, if you had free will, you know what I'm saying, anybody should be able to ask you, because what it say about uh, here today and gone tomorrow? Right. If you if you got free will, you supposed to be able to uh, choose when you are uh, going to die, man. How long you going to walk the earth? Well, you wouldn't die. You wouldn't die. Well, you I wouldn't fucking die. die. No, I ain't dying. I'm yeah. scared. I would never get sick. Right, I would never right. be broke. Yeah. I right. have the baddest. <laughs> Back in the uh, scripture. We, we oh, had, if right. we had free will, we'd be in a new covenant. Covenant. You know what? That, 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 right. we, we, we would be with your house shot. We'd be right. perfect. Yeah. Right. We wouldn't go off no more, man. That's right. But we, we're not there yet. Go ahead, bro. Right. A little more. Otherwise, you are boasting about your own plans, and all such boasting is evil. Yeah, because we ain't running shit. Right. Your, your life is borrowed, man. Don't you know we had to borrow our spirit from the spirit world to come down here? That's, that's in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. You know, you had to borrow your life to even come here, man. Right, right. And that's why us being in this knowledge is true. This don't way to pay that back. Because right. mm -hmm. life ain't free. It, you know, it's you bought with a price. So we came on the earth really to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. you how about Shemia was shy. And, and the kingdom of heaven, the Lord gonna give us a life. Mm -hmm. You know, he'll, he'll give you, you know, that life back, man. You know, but our lives were loaned us to do this work. You know, you got some brother? Just real quick. Okay. It's Proverbs 27 and 1. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for God knows not what the day may bring. And Jay do that tough, man. Jay do that tough. Esau, Edom do that tough. And that's why we in the time when the Lord's going to shut people's mouths, man. You know? Like, damn your plans. You're going to stay here. Because really, when you think about it, the Heavenly Father is really positioning everybody for Jacob's trouble. That's why the border's open. You know, you get you got, uh, not only the northern tribes coming in, but you got these different, uh, you know, foreign nations, you know, these different, uh, you know, militias, you know, you, you got different people that, uh, that work for this government or, or work for other governments. They're, they're all coming up here for that, that great evil time, man. You know, the Lord make it to where we can't travel so much as freely like, like, like you know, brothers used to. Now, for the most part, we just staying in our area, man, because everybody be in position for Jacob's trouble. You know? Everything centered around prophecy. Everything centered around prophecy. Mm -hmm. That's well said, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jeremiah 17 and 9 said, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Yeah. And it goes for all of us, and that's why we got to catch it too. You know? And, and that's a stomach block when it comes to men of the Lord. That's why people, they may not view us as men of the Lord because we go off. But we, ain't, we we in the flesh. We're not perfect yet. There are no perfect prophets. But see, that's a stumbling block. Remember, the Lord can set up stumbling blocks. Just because you see men in the flesh like you, that don't mean that those men are not men of the Lord. They just in the flesh like you. You know? But see, it's about the uh, the, the spirit we come in, man. You know? But since you got that, bro, get uh, the 10th chapter. Let's say uh, the way a man is not himself. Oh, you got it already? I'm already done. Go ahead. Hey, uh, can't make it up. Yeah, you want me to do what you want to get into? Both of them. Both of them, yeah. Right. It's Jeremiah 10 and 23. Oh, yeah, how about you? Oh, yeah, how about you? Shy? I know the way of man is not himself. Oh, yeah, how about you? I was shy. I know the way of man is not himself, meaning man didn't decide his destiny. Right. Man didn't program himself. Right. You know, right. now even though you, you look at us up here, including yourself, all of us, we not, you know, made out of metal, and you know, we, you know, we, we don't have, you know, um, these different electrical wires in our head, but, but man on earth really is a robot, you know? Although we don't look like robots, mankind on earth, the different nations, the 18 nations the Lord created, beginning with Israel, the top nation, we're all robots in your house by Shemiah was shot. And there's no such thing as our robots. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's not. 
you know? And, and, and there is no isolated uh, incident, man. Everything is connected. Yeah, the Lord gave these robot uh, breath and uh, heartbeats. That's right. Yeah. Veins. That's right. Yeah, and it, it, more, so, more sophisticated robots. Because, see, Esau Edom is on a small level. Really, even when it comes to what they're doing with the AI, all they're doing is wanting to mimic what the Heavenly Father already did, man. Right. They're trying to reduplicate a pattern that was already there, right. man. Yeah. That's right. And our technology is uh, the Holy Spirit. Ooh. That's it, brother. Go ahead. Yep. And it's not a man that walk to direct his steps. So who direct his steps? Right. Man's going to the Lord. Right. Right. You know, but it's another scripture in Proverbs that says, uh, there are many devices of the man's work. Is that it? But, but the Lord directed his steps, if I'm not mistaken. You know? So so meaning your life has a uh, a pattern. Like my brother said earlier, well, we get the definition for algorithm. Proverbs 19 21. You know, brother get the definition for algorithm by the shop. Uh, you want that research in your song? Yeah, you can get it, bro. Uh, this is Proverbs 19 21. There are many devices in a man's mind. Right, so you got your plans. That's right. What you want to do. That's right. Go ahead. Nevertheless, the counsel of Yahweh, that shall stand. Well, it's going to the same thing, but another one said the breaking of steps. You know? But, but I mean, it all lines up. The counsel of Yahweh, meaning his will, that's what's going to happen. You know? Whether on the right hand or on the left hand. Something as small as Jake Brown past us, listen to Usher with a bucket hat on. You know, something small as that. That guy was sell to drive past us right now. To be more. You know? Yeah, because he's not, he not listening to the word, you know? You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Hey, that's why we need mercy. You know what I'm saying? The fact that everything's calculated, like the Heavenly Father already knows what you're going to do before you do it. You know? <laughs> we need mercy. You know what I'm saying? You got it, bro. The Jeremiah T. 23 in, in, in the NLT. I know Yahweh Bashashah that our lives are not our own. Our lives are not our own. You know? So, goddamn, that shit E be talking about my body, my choice. And that's why the Lord gonna take a lot of their ass out, man. Yeah, he gonna do it. You know? Go ahead, bro. We are not able to clean our own course. Right, because if you do that, you self destruct, man. That's why we gotta be grateful for our Creator. Because when you, when you, you know, when you want to put it in your own hands, shit go all the way wrong, man. You know, and it's best to leave it up to what your how about you shall want. And then you have peace within yourself. Because you know it's according to his will. And and Lord willing we his, we on the right hand of his will, man. You know? Go ahead, brother. That was it on that. Like, get the word algorithm. It's a spirit, man, that we we continue with the brother started out with. Hey, you know? That term algorithm is very deep. Yeah, you can elaborate on it, you know. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> you got it. Out. So, God, it's, it's from the French algorithm, uh, algorithmy, refashion, under mistaken connection with Greek ephemeral number. I say number, and, and that's another thing too. See, life is numbers, and in so many words, they they pretty much shows you that in the movie The Matrix, man. As you said, you know? can I can I respond? I mean, uh, algorithm also goes into algebra. And oh wow! Algebra is the analysis of equations, formal mathematics. A math means what? A math means truth. Right. So all our lives are connected to the truth, man. And when you, you know? go deeper into algebra, it goes into the reunion of broken parts. That's the house of Israel. Yeah. The yeah, because at the end of the day, going back to the Lord's will being done, this is all like, like your, your life is like a map. Yeah. It's, it's all set up for us to really get to that one destination. It's just that the elect of Israel, they're gonna get to that destination first. You know? They're gonna be reunited first. You know? But that's heavy too, bro, because um even dealing with the topic of reincarnation, that, that was all set up. Really, really to bring us to this time for us to be perfected, man. You know? And that's a whole other topic, you know? But just showing you how everything the Lord does, there is no mistakes. You know? Every, everything is, is a plan, man. You know?
Right. Now it says process or rules. But see, the thing is, he puts that process in you. Because uh, in so many words, going back to uh, Matrix Reloaded, I want to say when that woman called the Oracle, was they had, you know, had a so-called black woman planner, which was shoot talk to Neo. I believe that was uh, out in the park. You know, um, you know, near, near those uh, apartments or whatnot. You know, them, them projects. She was telling Neo, she was like, everything has a program. You know? It, it was a programming written for the birds. It was programming written for the trees. You know, programming written for all of us. Your, your, your programming is your instructions, man. You know? Your process or, or set of rules. You know? <laughs> so the, the Heavenly Father, he's far out, man. But once again, this all uh, heals free will. Ain't no free will. You know? Is, it, is there any more on it? Uh, I want to um, get that word. Hebrews, um, Hebrews 12 and verse 11. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You know what's going to take place in the entire algorithm as well. You know, because that's, you know, that like faith holds us all, all together, you know, and, and it basically, uh, if it's those, you know, we walk through these guidelines of faith, you know, and, and, and to know that uh, Yahweh Shudah was shot, at the end of the day, he's not going to leave us out there, you know, hanging because it, we know that we got to depend on him because we're just mere mortals. You know, we, we, you know, we don't have those, we don't have that damn power right now, but we know that leaning upon him, like he was going into credit, hey, look, look for, look for miracles, you know, and it's going to be through that, that, uh, that, that faith. And that's our hope, man. Yeah, how about Shmi Shah's algorithm? Being in his, his knowledge is truth, you know? Yeah, bro. This is uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, starting at verse 39 in the NLT. Look now, I myself am he. And that's Yahweh, the heavenly father. He is. There is no other power but me. Yeah, and uh, the both the apostles, El Apostle Bar said it, and then El Apostle Kaya said it too. You know, and you know, in a sit down, I want to say, you know, for the Heavenly Father to have said that he he really did it. You know, you you gotta envision it. We gotta envision it. It was a certain moment in, in time to him. Like, you know, we can't understand that. You know, I mean, he he created time, but he he exists outside of time. But it was a certain moment when the Heavenly Father searched searched the, the universe just to see if there was another God, and he couldn't find one, man. You know, so he can, he can make that statement. And ain't, ain't, ain't no God beside him. And I picture, you know, a, a big, tall, so-called uh, black man, man. You know, with, with white woolly hair on his head and a, and a white beard, man. He searched the, the, the galaxies, the, the cosmos. He ain't find another God, man. But, but before he was, he was even made, like, he, he didn't look. You know, about to say, bro? Who you got to answer for? That, that's who, it. Who you got to answer to? Nobody, brother. Nobody. Nobody. Man, you think you do what you want to do. And, and you know what that do? That make you fear. Yeah. Yeah, how about Shmiao Shah, man? You know? Because the thing is, I, some I, I got from the brother Ayash, because he mentioned it, you know, concerning Jacob's trouble. But we got to fear the Lord, man. Nothing's off the table. You think about Jacob's trouble, the, that, that's the Lord, like, he, he can freestyle judgment. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing is off the table in, in Jacob's trouble. That's why when it comes to two-thirds of our people on the side, he, he, he just going to just, just have his way with them. Using ways to die. In new ways to die, you know, using the left hand, the, the Lord really just going to open judgment up on two-thirds of our people, man. So you're going to hear about people dying in the craziest ways you, you never thought. Probably seeing different stuff you ain't think, man. You know? <laughs> Yeah. I am the one who kills and gives life. And, I, and that's a terrible guy who can bring you here and he can, you know, take you out of here. But hey, sometimes your actual biological father say that, man. Like you piss him off. Boy, I brought you in this world. I, I take you out. But how much more the most high? How much more the heavenly father, man? Anytime he can he, he follow the spirits. Anytime he can remove that vapor, man. You know, that's it. He he kill. He make alive. You know, anytime he he could be like, I I I, I want to see you. 
you gonna see me today. Yeah, so now you got an appointment in the spirit world you ain't know about. Your, your life was demanded. And we, we live in a, in a time, the majority of people on earth got an appointment when you how about some y'all shot, man. And rebellion yeah. can shorten your life, man. You can really piss the Lord off. He's like, you know what, fuck it, let me get this nigga up here. You know, you are showing your life. Because it goes into two lines. If you are dishonoring your mother and father, we're yeah. showing your day. Yeah. How much more the heavenly father, man? Yeah. Hey, and it's scary, man. Hey, hey, but Jake, that it came up against the doctrine, the truth. You came up against the elder apostles, the elder bishops. It's going to say, honor your father and mother. Like I say, he quoted the law. And we're really supposed to honor our spiritual parents. You know? They they, they turned us back to you. How about Shemiah was shot? Like, they, they brought us back. So who we are, man. So you, you dishonor your spiritual parents, they're really shorting your days, man. You know, so we in the time, and the Lord, he gonna show why he's supposed to be feared, man. You know, and I fear that. You think about men that was laboring among us, and what, and, and we blessed to still be here, the Lord kept us, but what the Lord gonna do to individuals that came up against this truth, that became scoffers, you know, because you don't just walk away in the sunset, man. No one, no one gets away. That's why you hear about crazy things happening to these jakes, man. They get hit by cars, body tumbling over, getting hit by 18 wheeler. Falling on five story building. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and now you paralyzed from your waist down, man. You know? I am the one who wounds and heals. No one can regret. But what's, 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 what's going to help us, though, what I'm seeing is being grateful, bro. Because the Lord can show you something you can complain about. Yeah. You know? Like he, he'll, he'll show you, like, I, I can do this shit to you. You know? Like, like the Lord can, he can bring some sober moments in your life where, 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 you, where you, you'll cry, man. Because you see the way he didn't jacked up other people. You know, but, but, but you know, he didn't, he didn't have mercy on you, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, hey the Lord, he, he, he gonna show why he's supposed to be feared, bro. That's, that's the whole point. And, and going back to that brother's vision, that, that shows you why he's supposed to be feared, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. I, I am the one who wounds and heals. No one can re be rescued from my powerful hand. You know, the, the, the thing about, think about that scripture, bro. Yeah, really think about it. Nobody can save you from your how about Shimmy Shah. You know how scary it is? Like the Captain Thomas one just said, who's above the most high? When the most high like, nah, nigga, I got you. Yeah. I, I, I'm doing this to you. Yeah. You know? Find destination, find destination. Woo. They couldn't escape. They couldn't escape it. And that's, yep. that's, how, that's how you how about Shah yeah. Hey, you can't hide, you can't duck. Hey, it gonna get you when you gonna get you. And you gotta think about, think how silly you look to the angels. No, you in your little car. No, you think you can drive off, like drive away from what the Lord gonna do to you, man. They can flip the fucking car over, man. Yeah. And, 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 and uh, the apostles, and if there's spirit on them, you know, and there might be different brothers that give testimonies. I, I'm gonna I'm a, uh, speak on, you know, a little bit of stuff that I've experienced. When well, you deal with, with uh, spirits, man, and the Lord can open you up to that. And, and, and that's something you, you don't want like that, you know? Sometimes, you know, it happened, and the Lord, he's, he's given us the ability through his spirit to be stripping, to know how to deal with those spirits, but then you'll hear about certain men that lead the truth, and what happened to them, man. You know, because uh, one of the elder bitches said many years ago, a man, a man that was, you know, part of the camp, basically, you know, he had to fill out, but he was driving his car one day, his car had flipped over, but then he seen a whole bunch of bald-headed demons laughing at him, man. And I'm sure it's scared of Like, you may look, look at that and you may laugh at it. That shit ain't funny if it's happening to you, man. That shit ain't funny, man. Yeah. And you hear them. Yeah, you hear them voices, you know? Yeah, you, 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 you fucking, you hear the door comes open. You hear the fucking room that you're in. Door fucking has a little vibration. You know, and they fucking holding you down for several nights straight. 
Yeah, ain't no laughing fucking matter, man. Or they make it seem like the door opened, the, the door didn't even open. Yeah. You know, make it seem like your refrigerator opened and it, 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 it didn't open. You know, like you, you start seeing shit that ain't there, man. You know, because you, you, you're you dealing with a different realm, you know? And what you got to tell them, deal the spirit, man, you got to tell them what you got to do. Yeah. If it's appointed to kill me, do it. Because at the end of the day, can nothing happen unless the most I give the green light. And that's how you take the power away from it, man. Yeah, you know, just like yeah. Tupac and Jews. Remember on the when he hey, when Quincy was in the elevator? Yeah. And when Pac had that power, what he said, see, this is what it's all about. That's what he told Steel. But then when he walked up on Quincy, he said, you ready to die? And Quincy said, yeah. He took the power away from him. And that's what you have to do, build your faith. And y'all about shit on shot. You got to tell that dude, do what you got to do. Man. Hey, because no, ultimately, ultimately, and that show you the, the spirit of the Lord, man, because guess who sent the demon? Ultimately. Right. Yeah, how high should we have shot that? Exactly. <laughs> hey, exactly. you, you ain't going to feel the heavenly father, man. Exactly. He, he, he sent him. And, and he can remove him. And that's, that time when the brothers came over and did that exorcism on the crib, didn't have any problems. But guess what? They came back. But the second time they came back, what? To break my faith. Because we, I knew that it worked. Even I talked to Apostle Ramlah afterwards and things of that nature. So I was reading the scripture, going into the book of uh, Tobit. And so I felt a cool wind go by me. And so then I read the um, point of the scripture when it talked about how uh, Raphael had bound up an evil spirit and my phone started vibrating. I said, oh, shit, the most time. I'm crazy. I'll bust you out shot. I'll bust you out shot. Go ahead, bro. And this is uh, Proverbs 16 and, uh, and 9. Hey, man, Harvard. Decisive. 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 The visor, the visor, his way. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one I have wanted for. And this is Proverbs 16 and 9. A man's heart. The visor, the visor, his ways. But you how about your, but you how about my shot? The rest is still going back to Jeremiah the tip chapter. I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man to direct his steps, man. You know. So, so once again, knowing that everything is up to the will of your how about you was shy, that helps us know how we need to move, you know, to, to be more in line with that will. Because you're going to have a lot of people in the society, they're, they're going to pretty much be operating outside of that, which is the most dangerous place to be, man. Especially in the town we're living in, man. You know? Like the priest of just mentioned, you know, when he was over here, you, you know, you think about Nate and them, them changing up the doctrine, the, the, them saying that the Heavenly Father and His Heavenly Son are the same person. The timing that they're doing these things, man. The, time, the timing is the, is the worst time ever to do it. You know? But He's showing you the Heavenly Father is really going to bring some mass judgment. And also, He's going to glorify His name, too. The fact they doing that to, to uh, discredit the name or take away from the name, that shows that we in the time, those names are going to be magnified, bro. You know? But, but um, you know, but going back to uh, what we were speaking about earlier, us not knowing what we're going to do, that just really just keeps you humble. And then Lord willing, the Lord keep us here, man. You know? Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm going to come. Go ahead, huh? This is uh, Psalms 119, starting at verse 131. I opened my mouth and panted, for I long for thy commandment. Look upon me and be merciful unto me, as thou used it to do unto those that love thy name. Right, and, and it's all about that name. Because the time we're coming into, we ain't gonna be doing videos. You know, <laughs> you, you may not be able to read like that how you want to, because we're gonna be on the move. It's gonna all have to be in your head. And it's gonna all be routed back to those names, man. Faith in those names. Think about how those names have delivered you before. Going back to when you was getting attacked by demons and different things. Those names delivered you. Did, 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 those, those names worked, okay? Other, other circumstances you had to, you know, endure. It all went back to those names, man. How you saw power work through those names, you know? Where did I? Verse 133, order my steps in thy word. O order my steps. Or, or, or direct our steps, you know? So we're being commanded. 
you know? Like, like the Lord made you, hey, hey, remote control, right? Make you go right, make you go left, you know? You know what I'm saying? So the Heavenly Father is really controlling everything, man. Especially people. Go ahead, Art. And let not any iniquity have dominion over me. And we're going back to the Lord's Prayer. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Because we in the time, he going to give the majority of our people over to that, man. You know? He going to let Esau, Edom have free game with two-thirds of our people, man. And you can't feel bad for him. The, the best thing for us is we, we just don't want to be part of that. Pretty much, you know, you, you get back and make sure you in line with your how about Shri Al Shai, man. Going back to what the brother had spoke about earlier, us working on our personal relationship with the Lord, man. You know? Because we in the time, we're not even going to have this luxury of being around each other like that, man. You may be separated from brothers. Some of us may end up in camps. You know? And, and what you going to do, you in a camp, you, you there by yourself, man. That, that got to be you having your one-on-one -on -one with your house shot in your mind, you know? <laughs> that you in that camp alone, but really you're not alone, you know? That's how I got to be. Go ahead, bro. All right. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts, make my face shine. And they're going to get nasty, man. They're going to get nasty, man. They, they, they gonna, they gonna get nasty on Jake. Once again, we in a time when the Heavenly Father gonna fully crank up that Edomite spirit, man. And we, and once again, we haven't seen that before. You know, you more so see Jake taking out Jake, man. You know, but it's gonna be very interesting. All right, this morning, make thy face shine upon thy servant. It's ultimately having mercy on us, man. And man, it, us, us having that connection back. You know? Hey, because the Lord making his face shine upon you means he looking on you for good again, man. You know, go ahead. And teach me thy statutes. Right? And he did that with his truth. You got to talk about And it's uh, Job 33 and uh, 14. 15, it's like 15. In a dream, in a vision of, of the night. Hey, and this is why it's important to go to bed, man. And it's showing you ain't no free will. Everybody got to go to sleep. You got to go to bed. And that be the spirit of the Lord, too, because it be moments, and, and the Lord here have it to where your body going to naturally get tired, man. Mm -hmm. It's time to shut it down. And, and if you don't shut it down, he going to shut it down for you. You could be so through, you, you, you can fall asleep while you're standing on your feet, man. And wake up on the floor, you know? The Lord makes it to where you, you got to lay it down, man. You, you probably had something on your mind, what you want to do. Nah, now you got to take your ass home and go to bed, you know? And it's ultimately so the Lord can program it, too. <laughs> go ahead. And in Job 33 and 15, in a dream, in a, in a vision of night, when deep sleep fall upon a man, upon a man, and a slumber upon his bed. Hey, and this includes Esau, Edom, too. You know? Everyone. Go ahead, bro. Verse 16. Then he opened the ears of man, and sent their instruction. He programs us in our sleep. You know, go ahead. Verse 17, that he may draw man from his purpose and, and deprive from, the, from man. Because you ain't running shit. We, we control anything. He control everything, bro. You know, the open of either the ears or, or the mind of man and set up their instruction so the Heavenly Father put in your mind what he wants you to do the next day. Yeah, he, he does. He does it, it, it see, huh? Yo, yo, we Israelites. You know, you Israelite too. But yeah, hey, read it again, bro. I want to start at the top or the latter end up. All right. This is Job 33 and 17. That he may draw man from his purpose and hide from it. And hide the pride from it from me. Because you're gonna wake up and you're gonna do exactly what the Heavenly Father wants you to do, whether on the right hand side or the left hand side. You know? Because for you people out there that believe God is good all the time, you're gonna come to find out it's wrong. Go on, God. It's all good. And we, we got two more, you know. You come to find out you was wrong about that. Because see the Heavenly Father, in order for him to be all powerful, he has to control evil too. You know? And see, that's something our people will come to find out. You got it up. 
Isaiah 45 and 7. I'll call on the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I Yahweh do all these things. Yeah. And once again, where, where is the uh, the free will in that, you know? Well, ultimately, the Heavenly Father, he, he can make a person go off, man. Like he, he can give them over to that. Such so, so as the account when you read um dealing with King David, you know, now you read it, it says how um how Satan uh, uh tempted him, but ultimately the Heavenly Father sent Satan to what uh, tempt King David to what uh, to number Israel, man. Because ultimately the Heavenly Father wanted to bring judgment on Israel. You know? But the point is that going back to what Captain Thomas one had read, he programs us in our sleep. That's also why it's important to go to bed, man, because you want to wake up in the right spirit. You know, because you you pretty much got to be um, prepared for the next day, man. Now, we don't take no thought for tomorrow. I mean, you're not supposed to worry about what's going to happen to you the next day. But, but you need to, you know, be ready in the spirit because anything can happen. You know? But yeah, you got something? Yeah, yes, I'm wrong. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. By verse 18 and 10, it says, The name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower of the righteous run into it and is safe. And see, the best time to run into it, it is now, but also the time of that Karabi. Because where, where else you going to go to? Like that one song. Who said that song? Who you going to run to? You know? Who you going to run to? We got to run to Yahweh by Shemel Shah in our minds. Meaning, you know, there's moments where you have to be instantly praying. You got to be instant in prayer. That's why you be speaking about it, bro. The Spirit on you be speaking about it. You know, certain evil thoughts in your mind, you got to instantly rebuke it. Or well, well, different things you go through, like that, that, that's a, a very imperative time to pray. You know? Because that's part of our survival kit. Go into those names, man. Okay? Because we in the town, we got to be connected. You know, and two-thirds of our people, they're entering the worst time in history disconnected from the Heavenly Father, man. You know, we got to think about that. You got to think about these high-level enchantments going out. Think about Kamala. Take one step no deal, Kamala. Here it is. She, she just showed up. You know? She, she wasn't doing nothing the whole time, but but, 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 but now she, she come out the closet, you know? Yeah, my four goddamn years, they ain't seen her but maybe two times. They ain't seen her. Jake turned his head, didn't he? We, we, we mentioned Kamala. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he might vote for him, you know? But you're supposed to say, but some believe in every word. She just come out here out the blue and start talking about all this shit she's gonna do. And, and Jake, the biggest of fucking supporter, man. Yeah, and they're not thinking about who's gonna be the best for that position. They just thinking about how, 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 how this is a, you know, a big change in history. This possibly being the first woman president. Yeah, yeah. But, but see, the very fact the elite is allowing this to happen, showing you this, this place going down, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? This is just more way to luck. No, you got it, bro. This is just a way to bring, you know what I'm saying, more tension, more division, you know what I'm saying, with the uh, 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 almost damn gender war, man. Because, you know, it's, this is more like a infusion of women's liberation, man. Because a lot of women ain't even look at the, the whole scheme of it as far as supposed to be better for America, so-called. They just looking at the fact that this is going to be a, a, a black woman, so-called black woman, huh? and they just want to push that just to uplift up their own selves, you know, like they really done took a step up in the world, you know, like, like now they're going to uh, uh, really call themselves queens, man, you know, but like the brother saying, man, this just a, a whole farce, man, this just the elite, just, just playing y'all like a fucking fiddle again, man. Yeah, and you know, why would y'all brother get uh, Jeremiah 6 and uh, 21? Because, you know, it, it being a spirit, home um, brothers, beginning with our elder apostles, you know, and elder bishops, you know, and, and different, you know, certain other brothers speaking on this too. See, you know, we're just going to get the scripture. Go ahead, bro. It's Jeremiah 6 and 21. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people. The Quran was a stumbling block. All right? But, but you know what? Before we even get to that point, you have false prophets. That set up a stumbling blocks, telling you that the MOTB is something else. And if you follow up a stumbling block, you know, you, you didn't just fail, man. All right? You know, 
now you hurt. And, and, and two thirds of our people, you're gonna be hurt severely, especially to our, especially for those of y'all that be following these different leaders, man. You know, that's gonna be on you. But the key is that the Heavenly Father said he gonna lay those stumbling blocks, man. You know, go ahead, bro. And, and the Father and the sons together shall fall upon them, and the neighbor and his friends shall perish. Right, and see the scary thing about it, you're gonna witness whole households say that Karabah, man. And it begins with them following false doctrine. Because everything began in the spirit. You know? Because when you look at these different Israelite camps outside of Great Millstone, they're pretty much all plugged into the matrix, man. You know? So it's going to be nothing for them to take that. That's going to be the, uh, the finishing touch. All right? Some more on that. Thus said the Lord, behold, you, you know what? Uh, yeah, that's it, bro. That's it. I guess so. I'm going out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 69, starting in verse 22, in the NLT. Let their bountiful table set before them become a snare, and their prosperity become a trap. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Showing you, it's not for the majority of our people, man. Even for those that call themselves Israelites, you know? And Lord willing, we stay in this truth. You know, we, we don't change things up. But I'm going to say this. Our rights is our father will. If we part of the number, we're we not going to do that. You know, if a man that have went off, you know, and let's say, you know, you got small exceptions to the rule, certain men that have, you know, you know, went off severely, if they're a party elect, the Lord can take them out of it. If, if, you know, if it's according to his will, he, he can take them out of it. But the elect as a collective, they're not going to change, change the truth, man. Pursuing what it says in Revelation 14, and her mouth was found no God, you know? We're going to keep the doctrine pure. You know, go ahead, bro. Let their eyes go blind and so they cannot see and make their body shake continually. Yeah, and you see that with these different camps, man. You know? Like, hey, I keep quoting the brother, but what he says of the truth. Hey, you look at these different leaders, man, they be shaking and faking. All right? And at the end of the day, bro, they got to know that they're lying, man. And it, it, it ain't no way you teaching this and you believe that shit. You know, because it's so much undeniable truth, but the MOTV really is, man. You know? Pour out your fury on them, consume them with your burning anger. Let their home become desolate and their tents be deserted to the one you have punished. They add insult to injury, they add the pain of those you have hurt. That's pretty much it. Right, so, ultimately, those are people that's, that's teaching that, the MOTB is something else, they gonna be destroyed, and they're following, they are gonna be destroyed too. You know? But, you know, we, we, we uh, saying what we're saying, you know, uh, through the Spirit, because it, it ain't of us, you know, because we, we commanded to speak boldly, because we're not coming our own name. You know, this authority is of your how about you shy. And you know, we coming out here teaching this word, you know, so we can get the blood off our hands concerning Israel. And so the Lord will deliver us. Because we come to the time you're gonna have to need a covering in order to escape these uh, you know, different situations that we're gonna be in, man. You know? And and every time, you know, we come out here to the highways and hedges, every time you do a sit down, every time you do a walk and talk or in transit. You're, you're, you're adding more to, uh, to that cover. And the time we're going to need it, man. And to back it up, uh, Captain Body, can you get uh, Ecclesiastes? I believe it's uh, 11 and, uh, and 1. Ecclesiastes 11 and 1? Yep. That's for what burden is that? They, they want to close out separately how they want to do it. They want to come in. Wait, wait. They want to go for I'll do NLT. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 11 and 1. Send your brain across the seas, and in time, prophets will flow back to you. Yeah, what they call the uh, the law of the universe, you know, was really, you know, the spirit of your how about you shy. The same, you know, what you put out, the energy you put out is going to come back to you. Mm -hmm. So this truth is a spiritual investment. It's a life investment, mm -hmm. you know? So by us doing this work, you know, every video, you know what I'm saying? Every time you read, every time you pray, you making that count, you know? 
you 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 gon you gon uh, reap the fact, man. You storing your treasures in heaven, and also you building up the hedge for the time of Jacob's trouble, man. You know. And the more you pray, the more you continue to build that spiritual hedge around you, your family, and also to pray for you, each other, right? Your family and your possessions, because brothers will get car demons, man. So I have that spiritual barrier. <laughs> On your possessions too, man. But that was, spirit, brother. was not Job attacked? Wasn't his possessions attacked? Yep, yep, and yep. Satan to do that to overwhelm you. Because remember, Green Goblin said what? Attack the heart. Yeah. So Satan attacked your family members to break you. Yeah. And this is verse uh, two. But divide your investments among many places, for you do not know what risk might lie ahead. I mean, you don't know. That's that. That's that bag of that savings account. You know, you 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 are doing what you got to do to get that spiritual investment. Where you know, what I'm saying the Lord is gonna be pleased with your work, man. The scripture says He will not forget your labor of love, man. Why He ain't gonna forget it? Cause you have been doing what you're supposed to do. You know, what I'm saying you have been going above beyond to the best of your ability, man. You know, and that that is that that is a a beautiful spiritual savings account, man. That's gonna pay off at the end, man. And the thing is, we owe. And we owe. We, we owe, bro. That's why we come out here. We owe the Lord, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you, you got to think about it. What what we do out here and, you know, in our daily life, as far as, you know, doing the work and different things of the Spirit, it still don't compare to how much mercy the Lord showed us, man. Like Noah. Noah built the ark. So what? His family, ultimately, hey, Noah was caring about himself. But he thought about his wife and his sons too. That they was in the heads too? Yeah, they was in the heads too. So from a spiritual side, a lot of times when we don't feel like making videos, when we don't feel like uh, coming out here on the highways and the byways, it's all about Shem Al Shah. But also, we do this for the safety of us and our families, man. Our Because it's bigger than us. It's bigger than us, man. You know? Y'all just saying, y'all just saying that earlier, like sowing to the spirit so that we can get that spiritual cover. That's right. You know? No. Yep, and, and that spiritual cover is gonna be a literal cover. You know, right. and you know, sewing, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Because hey, you're gonna be physically protected during that time. You and your loved ones. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Verse 3. When clouds are heavy, the rains come down. Whether a tree falls north or south, it stays you know where it falls. So like can you can you read up uh, the first book? Of book? All right, so like, bro. Back in Ecclesiastes 11 and 2. But divide your investments among many places. Why right, you doing that in the spirit? That's right. Hey, yeah, how was Shah said, you know, um dealing with the servants that had the pounds or, or, or the talents, you know, uh, you, you go out and you and you trade, and it is coming, at his second coming, he's gonna receive his his own but that he gave you with interest on top of it. You know, that that spiritual investment. In this spiritual money, yes, this truth, yeah. and what you're doing, you know, you you exchanging it with brothers, like we speak about, you know, um, spiritual gifts, you know, you, you pouring into one another, right. you know, because what you set up to teach is, is set up to build up another brother in that area, you know, and and, and that's you flipping the Lord's money, because oh. now the brother that you didn't talk, he has what you gave him on, on top of what other brothers gave him, that's right. you know, and if you invest something. Even from even in the spiritual sense, it's multiple ways. You know what yep. I'm saying? It's, it's the, the probability of a better investment comes and things of that nature. Even Esau tells you if you're about to invest something, invest in different ways. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we do in the spirit. You got we your hands brothers, in things. Yep. We, you know, we, we try to be good brothers to the best of our abilities. Yep. We uh, pay tithes to the best of our abilities. We teach to the best of our abilities, and so on and so forth. That's delving in different ways, man. Yeah, because ultimately, it's it's one investment, but there's different parts of this investment. That's right, bro. You know, That's right. bro. But divide your investments among many places, for you for you do not know what risk might lie ahead. Yeah. Right, because you 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 setting up that hedge for the time to come. Mm -hmm. You know, right. but what was I reading? Uh, yeah, I got KJB you. verse two. Verse two. Give a portion to seven. And also to eight to my brothers, right? For you know not what evil shall be on the earth. The time will take us trouble, cause it's gonna be way worse when it happened, man. And you're gonna be grateful for every time you came to the line, every time you did the video, every time you used around brothers. 
you're gonna be grateful for all those times and, and really, you know, hey, you're gonna be in situations, man, like you're gonna thank you how about Chanel was shot for having the privilege. And cause you got people that, that like to bash us, man. I ain't gonna be in no camp. I can't stay in y'all camps. Well, 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 Ninja, you gonna wish you was a part of a camp. When all hell break loose, man. You know what you know what not not what evil is gonna be on the earth, man. You know? Like uh, the spiritual brother brought out about the spiritual, I mean, the investments in different places. Is that what it said? Like, do you invest in different places? A part of the investment, too, man, is putting off the world, not continuing to worship the uh, pagan holiday, eating a bundle of food, not cutting off your beard, not uh, shaving your head, not putting in the dodge. Those are investments, man, in other places, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be pleasing to the Lord because you're putting off the way of this world, man, and that's a step forward in the way of righteousness, man. That's right. Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. For woe to him that is alone when he falls. And think about men that, that are not in caps. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, and, and then all that weight is on you. At, at least when it's multiple brothers, we can help each other, man. But then, you know, you, you think about the reality. And some brothers, you know, brothers have done it. But then the brothers that were out there by themselves, the Lord gave them other men or put them with a camp. And so you can't be like the Lord ain't with the camps, man. That's right. And then when your house shower was breaking down the uh, apostles on how they should teach when they were disciples, he sent them by the tomb. Absolutely. He did, he did not send them, hey, you go this way, you go this way. No, he sent them by the tomb. It take at least two men to make up a camp. That's right. That's right. You can't make it up, bro. That's right. Two, two better than one. That's right. Yeah, this brother might, might not, I might not know none. Like, he might know more I know, but you know, we both get feet off each other to make, to make the, to build each other up. Build each other up. Well, and Shoot. as you're reading, I can break it down. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so you know, so. and it mentioned fallout. And what 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 said when these uh, guys who call themselves the truth just dis disappeared? They fell out. They fell out. You yeah. know, that's right. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. For woe to him that is alone when he falls. For he has not another to help him up. Yeah, yeah. You you had no one to lean upon, man. Mm -hmm. to, to get counsel from, to get instruction yeah. from. You're just gonna lean on yourself. That's it. And and scripture say, you know, lean not to thy own understanding. And that's what a lot of men do. I'm back to what you started out with. You can't say what you're not gonna do. Cause but then you know when you leave, you know, and then let, let, let's say you had a quarrel, you know, a disagreement with the men that you you know you was part of account with, you know, you you view them as evil or, 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 the, or the men that taught all of us ultimately the apostles and the elders, then what you gonna do? You know? It takes a special spirit to continue, man. You know, I'm just saying that humbly, you know? Go ahead, bro. Verse 11. Again, if two lie together, then they have no heat. But how can one be warm alone? Verse 12. And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. Right, right. You, you in a fight, you know? <laughs> but it, it, it's rough. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you got a gang of men around you just out there alone, you know? Yeah. Go ahead. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Right, the three brothers. Yeah. Even better than two. Right. Number, right. the number, there we go. Right. You know, so you, so you can't bash the camps. Yeah, how about Shmuel Shai is with the camps, man? Mm -hmm. That's teaching the full truth. You know, but but going back, I'm shot. That's your best again. Eleven and one you, in the KJV. You, my man. Ecclesiastes eleven and two. Give a portion to seven and also to eight, for you know not, for you know not what evil shall be on the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse 1, Ecclesiastes 11 and 1, cast your bread on the waters. Cast your bread upon the waters. The, the bread is truth. That's right. right. You know? And once again, you know, um, what, what they say, what you put out in the universe right. comes back to you. Psalm 19 and 1. You know, I'm thinking about the internet. Yeah. You know, hey, we put this bread out, mm -hmm. you know, in the heavens, putting it out on the internet, you know? Right. Go ahead, bro. Right. And then when you go into that term, uh, um, that chord in Psalm 19 and 1, the Hebrew word is pana, which means a bundle of cords. And when you look up the term internet, it means a bundle of cords. Back in two, for, no, it's lucky. Back in one, cast your bread on the waters, for you shall find it after many days. Verse two. Right, because when you look at us, I'm going to say specifically uh, Elder Z and Elder Bun, you know, the, the elder was here. You know, you think about the men that started out this, you started off this camp. We had, I mean, I had no idea I'd be back in Mississippi. And then, you know, starting 
back in, you know, um, when I moved down in 2011, then going to 2012, we had no idea the camp would be this big, you know? So, you know, it, this thing of the spirit, you, you find it after many days. Look how many brothers the Lord added to us, man. That's right, bro. And, and then you got brothers that watch us on the internet that we don't know about. That's right. You know, each, each, yeah, see the disciples, you, you got each brother that has their own fruit, you know, through the spirit. Yeah. You know, that the Lord has you feeding them, man. That's right. And whether you get one view, two view, three views, you do your fucking part, man. Hey, you do your part. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you right, because you're how a shower watch it, that's the most important. That's the most important view. All right, but with that, we hope you brothers and sisters are edified. Once again, we want to give all the other to you. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shabbat, 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 Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone and Well. Peace and blessings. Health the world to the house of David the elect. Abba Baba. Shalom. 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 Shalom.